Let's watch some crazy stuff, yo! Well, I'm I'm sure the police know that already, even if I understand that, but did Hey, wait a minute, Rick. I thought this was a commercial. What, what's going call? on? Oh, don't uh, don't worry about it. Let's Loretta. just That's a good fit, too. You scared the hell oh out of me. Oh my god, okay, it's Loretta. still the commercial. Did you need something? Need? Nah, I was just curious about Dr. I just peeped. This is Loretta call. from Jeez, the Rick. Um, oh my god. That's some pretty hardcore podcast, stuff. Bro. What in the hell? As y'all see by the title, Y'all know what today is. What's going on YouTube? K-Rob here bringing you Life is Strange Double Exposure, bro. Thank y'all so much for all the love support y'all have been showing me on this channel. I highly appreciate every single one of y'all. This is going to be a very, very special playthrough on this channel. For anyone who does not know, this channel really kickstarted with the first Life is Strange. And I am so thankful for all the Life is Strange people that came through. I appreciate y'all heavy, bro, because without y'all, like, I'm not gonna lie, I was not expecting the first Life is Strange playthrough to blow up as big as it did for this channel. All I gotta say is, if y'all came from any, and I mean any, Life is Strange playthroughs on my channel, I highly appreciate y'all so much. Y'all hold a very, very special place in my heart, bro. To the people who are new here and haven't watched my previous Life is Strange playthroughs, you need to watch those. You need to. They are probably like one of my best, in my opinion, probably like one of my favorite playthroughs on this channel, especially Life is Strange 2. But we have a brand new journey ahead of us, y'all. I'm super excited for this. I'm not gonna lie, I've been waiting so long for this, bro. All the people that have been saying, yo, K, are we gonna play Double Exposure? Bro, yeah, yeah, we play this game, you feel me? I'm just so excited to see Max again, bro. Oh my God, this, this is about to hit. I don't know about y'all, bro, but I, hey, this, this hits for me. But without further ado, y'all, let's jump right into Life is Strange Double Exposure. <laughs> Oh, right off the rip. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. We get the dress match. Hold on. Okay, wait, 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 wait. All right, let me see. Select. Okay, okay. This is the current outfit she has on. What about this? Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that. That's a cool little sweater. Okay. The best time to wear a striped sweater huh? is all the time. Huh? One with a collar, turtle. Day. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Uh, that one's kind of it's high. You know what I'm saying? I got some locked ones though. Dang, that's crazy. Are these like the um, the pre-order bonuses and stuff? Dang. I'm kind of messing with this one though. I don't know. It, it's something about the the one side tucked, the one side untucked that I'm kind of messing with, and then the stripes that are, that are like going across the torso to the arms. Like that's hard, bro. That's hard. I'm messing with this. Okay, okay. Let's do this. Look like she got on some Doc Martens too. Yeah, I'm messing with the fit. I'm messing with the fit, Max, for real. Oh, then we got that outdoor fit. Wait a minute. Okay, so this the fit that was in the trailer. Okay, I messed with this one. This one, all right. This one, all right. What is this? A uh, Canadian goose? Huh? I mean, that's cool. That's cool. That's that's. A little stylish. I'm messing with it. She got the little pin on her collar too. I mess with it. Ooh, but this one's giving me some fall vibes though. I like this one too. It's between the Vermont one and this one. I don't know which which one's calling my name for real. I'm messing with this one a little bit more only because the docks are like the black ones, bro. I like the like are those brown? I like the brown ones, but it's like. I don't know, this is kinda cunty, you feel me? I like it, I like it, Max, I like it. All right, I think we're good here. Let's jump right in, cause I am overwhelmed with excitement right now. Let's go. Bro. Chapter one, still life. <laughs> Also, I'm keeping the music in, bro. I want to experience the music with y'all as well, bro. You know what I'm saying? So forget copyright YouTube. If you hit me with that with that claim, it is what it is. I don't. I do not care. I want to experience this with my community. Thank you very much. I got beef with y'all, Square Enix. Y'all should have gave me the early access, you feel me? But it's all right. I ain't gonna trip on y'all, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? I love y'all regardless. Deck nine. Y'all been beefing with deck nine, y'all. I've been seeing it. Y'all been saying deck nine ruined this game and stuff? Hey, I gotta experience it for myself. I can't listen to the public. This means something to me. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Max. Oh my gosh, bro. Nah, this gotta be too geeked. This gotta be too geeked. Oh my gosh. Oh man, it's like I don't know, man. Seeing her from a high schooler to now, it's crazy. She's so pretty. Well, I'll be damned. I didn't know you were a criminal mastermind, Miss Caulfield. You got no clue. <laughs> got no clue. What's her name? Sophie. There's a lot you don't know about me. 
Truly, is nothing easy. How do we get around that? <sighs> that jacket cold though. I'm not I like this jacket. Yet. Okay. Let me take a look. Oh, we here, y'all. We're playing. We're playing. Okay, okay. All right, let me chill. Let me chill. Let me look around. Let me see what we got going first. Pub banner. I hope whoever Neb is, they don't mind that I'm in their pub. And if they do mind, I hope I can take them. Can y'all imagine Max squaring up with somebody? Like running the ones with somebody? Maybe even in a boxing ring? Damn. She's about son. that life, bro. Under under this pretty face, bro. She is about that action. Don't get it twisted now. Just because she got a pretty face don't mean, you know what I'm saying, she all soft. Like, nah, she she'll put you on your ass. Safi was good. I wanna know more about you, Safi. Cause I know like we're trying to solve a mystery of her later on and stuff. Oh yeah. Easy peasy. Sure about this? Positive. <laughs> okay. Wait. Move the camera around. Wait. Lift. <laughs> Dang, Max! I told you she Wait, did y'all pee is the door did the door open? Huh? Wait for it. Y'all see that the door is open, right? Go. Okay, girl power first and foremost. That was sick. You know what I'm saying? W on y'all. W on y'all, bro. Talk about descending into the mouth of hell. That's a good spot for pics. Oh, hell is right. It's incredible. This place looks sick, in my opinion. So glad you told me about this place. It's incredible. Ooh, that's one word for it. I feel like it's like a photographer's. Uh, I had a friend in undergrad right who was obsessed with this building. She never broke in though. She clearly wasn't as crazy as you. <laughs> <laughs> Urban exploration is kind of my thing. I can't see a busted old place and simply not go into it. Uh. What is it about empty spaces? The potential, the uselessness, the potential. You, oh, you don't I see it as know. I do, Safi. An abandoned building has the potential to be anything. Facts. It's Just like an empty going box, inside, bro. I make it into something new. Hell yeah. Let's hit the bar. Dang, whiskey. Not a oh, bad bourbon? shot. Oh, let me just... Don't. What? I don't usually rearrange the space if I can help it. I want it to look exactly like it would without human interference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. That sounds like Hands a photographer, off. bro. Is there anything that I should be doing? Yeah, sitting in the back, looking pretty. Bring me a drink. Just sit still and look pretty. <laughs> the job I was born for. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, price fielders, price fielders aren't gonna like this playthrough at all, bro. Y'all are gonna hate me for this. Um. Take photo. Let me see. I gotta get the right angles, bro. I got I got friends who are photographers and they watch my playthrough, so I gotta make sure you know I do them justice at least a little bit. Here we go. Right here. That looks good. That looks good. Oh, I can save it. So what are we looking for exactly, besides photographing random detritus? Most of the shoots I do, I find a focus, something to hang the rest of the series on. I'll know when I see it. Mm. That's Something a good fit. I, I'll put that on her. Lonely. Hey. The loneliest thing you can find. <laughs> gotcha, boss. <laughs> Oof, try not Sorry. to breathe Ooh. too deep. This <laughs> looks like it's 90% asbestos. Photograph the bowling alley? Okay, for sure, for sure. Let me see what we got going here. Graffiti. Ah, uh, yes. Abraxas. Those guys Abraxas. really get around. Shaka, bro. Huh? Okay, let me see. Hurry up. I think this thing is alive and hungry. You gonna wait? If you didn't want to tag along, you should have stayed home. I'm over here exploring. Oh, what? The phone. Crosstalk, no connection on the phone. Oh, that's a cool little detail. All right, what we got over here? Stain? Ugh, wait a minute. Snapshot stain? Looks like a face. How old did you say this place was? I think it was built in the 60s, but it only closed down like 
a decade ago. Really? Oh. It looks like it's been abandoned for half a century. <laughs> Maybe the tackier something is, the faster the rate of decay. That's <laughs> a sound theory, then explain your jacket. <laughs> Wait, I gotta say that. Then wouldn't that jacket be totally decayed by now? Damn, son. <laughs> mean. This is Couture. Oh, my fault. My bad, Safi. My bad. It's Couture. <laughs> okay, wait. Uh, hold. Okay, zoom in. Doesn't it look like a face, though, y'all? Like, you can see, like, the nose, the mouth. Kind of, It kind of looks like a... Like that, bro. Hold on. That's a good pick, though. That's a good pick. I like that. I like that. Yup. Oh, portrait. Ooh, that's beautiful. I'd like to meet the artist. Yeah. Especially if this is a self-portrait. Yeah, that's fire right there. That is so, so fire. Damn, bro, you really gotta like admire art, bro. And like the artists that make it. It's just like, to express their imaginations through art like that is just phenomenal to me. I wish I was that good, bro. We have so many talented artists in the Discord, bro. It is actually not funny, bro. I'm so jealous of them. Cause it's like, I can't even, I could barely draw stick figures, bro. But every time I see their pictures, I'm like, yo, y'all are just mad talented, man. My fault, sloppy, wait a minute. Wait, can I speak to her? What are you smiling about? I don't know. I can't. You know. Graffiti. Hail Satan. Let me see. Hail Satan. Hmm. Edgy. Very edgy, man. Ready to pledge yourself to the Prince of Lies? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, people are bad enough. The supernatural is spooky. Wait, how do I? Oh. You never know what's out there. That reminds there. me of True Colors a little bit. Shit worse than goat heads, at least. Won't hear me argue. I've seen my fair share of shit that can't be explained. <laughs> God, I haven't been bowling since I was little. I love bowling, man. John Whittle's ninth birthday, if I remember. Weird John kid. John Whittle? I love bowling so much, bro. What's Something to bring you back to the beginning. Imagine that. I know this is the first playthrough, but man, I just want to explore everything. I don't know. I feel really at peace playing this game right now. <laughs> it's a weird wow. feeling, but it feels good. It looks so much cleaner than it did online. Are there photos? Yeah. The old website is still up. I wonder who's paying the hosting fees. Someone who loves kitsch. And dust. Nah, Safi's pretty, bro. Mm. Safi's pretty. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Uh, wait. Should I get the cans? I wanna get like the. Let me try. Okay. I wanted to get a little bit of the lane too. I didn't want to just get the. Figured the out cans. what your focus is gonna be yet? Not yet. But I'll know it when I see it. Pull down the tarp. Rewind hasn't worked in years. But still. Old habits die hard. Bro, cause I press L2 like how she used to rewind back in Life is Strange 1 and she said that? <laughs> no, that's fire, that's fire, that's fire, that's fire, bro. I just wanted to try it. I just wanted to try it and I'm I'm glad she said something about it. That was cool. Can I go over here? Oh, I can. Good thing this building isn't on campus. My mom would definitely have had it raised to the ground by now. God. Oh, people have been, people been sleeping here. New poetry building. Hold on. Think of the expensive new lit building she'd replace it with. New lit sure. building? Expensive, new, and inoffensive. I'm glad she still got a sense of humor, though. You know what I'm saying? W Max, man. All right, before we pull this down, right? Let me look over here real quick. Right on the D-pad is to display my main objective. Got you. Debris. If the roof collapses in a bowling alley and no one is around to hear it. Can you still collect the insurance money? <laughs> good point. Good know. point. No, that's a good. That's a good question. That's. <laughs> Wait, mascot creature. What? Take a pic of this. I told you this place was. A devil. Aww. Why she sound muffled? And why does it? Why does it, like why does it got a thong on? Like, what's going on with that? I wonder if there's Sound like she's talking with a pillow over her face. Like, what's, what's going on? What? You mean stupid? Oh, there we go. I mean, why not? You scared? It's not like anybody is going to miss it. 
Couldn't you steal something that doesn't feast on the tears of orphaned children? <laughs> well, it okay. doesn't even matter. It's way too big to drag out with just the two of us. Shoot, the way that y'all move that uh that big shelf over there, you know what I'm saying? Anything possible at that point. Brain skull. Relatable. Sometimes I feel like someone is eating my brains with a spoon. <laughs> She's talking about relatable. <laughs> Behold, oh. everyone's least favorite part of bowling. The bowling shoes. I do hate the bowling shoes. I really do. I wish I could bowl in my own shoes. I get why there's shoes. bowling shoes, but. Are dang. shoes lonely? Super lonely. Sans feet. Shoes were the subject of the first photo of mine your mom ever saw. Oh, oh my god. This year's Caledon University artist in residence sent my mom foot pics. Bruh! <laughs> no, believe it. <laughs> I guess there are just some things about your mom you don't know. Ugh, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> it was a shot of a no, messy closet funny. in a condemned house. Someone left behind all their shoes. Your mom loved it. Hypocritical of her considering she never liked it when my closet was messy. But... Ah. My mom just, you know, she's like me a little, a little more. That's all. All right. Let me see. Let me get a good pick of these. Boom. There we go. That's a good angle. You see that? You see how like it goes kind of far out like that? That's cold. Nah, come on now. Y'all gotta give me that one. Out what your focus is gonna be yet? Um, Not yet. But I'll know it when I see it. Let me see what this is. Event board. Let me see. What kind My of message is on. One half full big lighter to win it all. LGBT Bowling League, April 12th, Violet Femmes versus Head in the Gutter. Oh, wow, this is fire. This is an LGBT Bowling League. Wow, okay. Oh, man. I'm nine years late for my free slice of za. Huh? Huh? Did she say, wait, did she say free slice of za? College night, Thursdays at the Nebula, half off bowling, free slice of za. Free small soft drink with a valid Caldean University ID. Free slice of za is wild. And the way she said that. <laughs> Hall of Fame? I've never bowled anything above a 180. Way to go, Doug. Shout out to Doug, man. Doug with a perfect score. Doug Van Derbeen. Huh? Doug Van Derbeen. Huh? <laughs> oh. Oh, Doug. Oh. No. Wait, how do you go from a perfect score to a 36? Dang! This must have been his off day. Doug Vanderbilt. Who was petty enough to put the thumbs down on it? Like, nah, you're petty, bro. What the? Who did that? Gumball machine. Do gumballs have an expiration date? I think so. Wait, do gums, like, you know what I was thinking? Do gumballs turn into, like, jawbreakers? Huh? When they expire? Or do they ever expire? I don't know. I remember I had, like, a hard gum gumball before, but... Huh? It was still, I was still able to chew it, you feel me? Free hugs. I'll pass. <laughs> okay, my bad. Let me get back on task, y'all. I'm having too much fun. I'm having way too much fun right now. Wait, I didn't even peep the mini mascot toys. Wait, I need one. I could never resist a deal. Right, that's a free souvenir. There we go, okay. I hope she has like a dorm where I could put like souvenirs in and stuff. That would be cool. Remember how she had like the plant that she she could take care of? I, I hope we have a plant too. That would be fire. Like we had like a little apartment or something. That would be dope. All right, I believe I checked everywhere I could. Let me go ahead and pull down the tarp now. Oh. So much for never rearranging a space. Y'all better be careful. I Damn. Shaking. Gonna fall I bet down. That was stunning when it caught the light. Oh shit. That's it, huh? Hmm? The centerpiece you wanted, right? The loneliest thing in here or whatever. It was made to be beautiful. Dang. And now no one ever looks at it. Until today. There you go, right? Bro, Sabi is me like with my that. photographer friends, for real. <laughs> Not in love with this angle, though. There. Help me find a way up. You got it, boss. I like how she calls me boss. Like, 
W homie for real, you know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah, yeah, we gotta get up there. there. Gotta be some stairs, right? No thanks, I value my ankles. You are so right, Max. You are so right. Hold on. Um. Oh wait, shoe rack. Climb. Yep. There we go. It's an easier way up. There we go. Make sure it's stable. I knew something. See, I knew, I knew it. I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it was you gonna okay? happen. You okay? Damn. Yeah, I, I'm fine. <laughs> that could have been bad. See, this is why you need an assistant in case you break your ass and need an ass ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean by that? Go so get your shot. Let me figure out how to get you back down. Hold on. Okay. Cool. Armed and ready. Let's find that shot. This girl Max will do anything for that shot, though, right? Gotta respect How are your parkour skills? Dang, are you mad loud? Where are you at? Uh. Uh, yeah, let's do that. What? I'll pretend, let's pretend like I didn't hear that. <laughs> I said, how are your... What? <laughs> oh, I said... You're fucking with me, aren't you? Hell yeah, I am. It's funny. It's funny. There ain't looking. no rule that says a carousel horse can't bowl. Facts. I don't know. What does that mean? Stoner gnomes. Yo. The gnomes smoking weed really pull the place together. Yo. Stoner gnomes, dude. Open this up. Wow, bro. What a shot. This is going to be an insane shot. Let me see. We got some bottles. Pretty shitty leaving these around for someone else to find. Somebody was having a time of their life though, bro. Look how many bottles they got on this table. Dang! Another mascot creature. Are you here because I took one of your children? <laughs> Have I unlocked some foul curse? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> nah, not because I took one of the toys, bro. That's funny. Monkey wall art. That's the second biggest monkey DJ I've ever seen. This is sick. This gotta be one of those references. I don't know if y'all ever played Monkey Island or know what Monkey Island is, but the way she said that's the second biggest monkey head I've ever seen. I like that's I I recall that being a a line in that game. All right, what else we got in here, bro? Broken bowling ball. Always wondered what's inside a bowling ball. Turns out it's just more bowling ball. Wait, yeah, whole time. I've never seen a broken bowling ball. I've always wondered what was inside a bowling ball. You're telling me a bowling ball has a bowling ball inside of it? Huh? Huh? I thought it was just like a solid, like, I don't know, bro. I thought it was like a, a solid sphere or something. But wait, that doesn't make sense because how would it be just a solid sphere when it has the holes for the fingers? Dude, I'm not gonna lie. I be blowing my mind sometimes. Derelict sign? Wonder if the birthday room was any less terrifying back in its... Heyday. I guess y'all could say the birthday was a little bit strange. Huh? All right, let's go ahead and take a picture of this Nebula Mobile. Damn, what kind of camera she had? Hold on, that looked like that looked like some high tech. What was that? What kind of DSLR was that? Hold on, okay, wait, I gotta get the. Let me get like a good, let me get a good frame going here. You feel me? Ah, like right there. There we go. That looks good. Ooh, that's centered like, oh, that's centered nice, bro. I hope we got like a, uh, like a photo book or something. That'd be dope. Okay, Safi, being resourceful. You found a ladder? We could've used that wow. like a while ago. Ballet service too? This place is bougie. Bougie. Please remember to tip your ladder driver. Did you get your shot? And let's get the hell out of this death trap. <laughs> yes, ma'am. All right. Uh, let, let me see. Did we get everything up here? I wanted to come out here, right, to check to see if I missed anything, and I missed this graffiti portrait. Look at this. I wish I could do my eyeliner like that. Holy. In my hair. Who are the artists of these pictures, bro? Y'all are snapping. All right. Let's climb down. I'm on my way, Safi. I'm on my way. Catch me if I fall, my queen. Come on. I'm starving. This loneliness makes me want a sandwich. <laughs> Beautiful discount. That. Check this out. It's perfect. Aww. Oh, show me the angle. She's so supportive of Max, bro. I love it. Oh my god. What? Not the 
camera. Ah, see, look, that's crazy though. That's crazy though. That's crazy though. She just tossed the camera. Oh my goodness. I don't know. That's. <laughs> she did get saved. Sophie did save her though. But damn, she tossed the camera. Holy in the shit! Process. Are you okay? <laughs> oh my god. I need a drink. Oh no, a couple thousand dollar camera Please like that, bro. Oh, that mind. tight. Uh, turtle. Turtle. Let's get some drinks. Fuck, you know what I'm saying? My powers might not last. That's okay. We will. <laughs> Wait. Back. Nah, not the flashback. Back. That PTSD is kicking my you girl right now, bro. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean no. Wait, that's not, not the dead. fit I picked, though. That's not her shirt I picked. I picked the striped sweater, bro. Where is it at? Mm. Cosmopolitan for Max. Amanda. Vodka shot for Safi. Very on brand in both cases. Okay, Amanda. Okay. Thanks a ton, Thanks, Amanda. Amanda. Hey, you look really good today. I mean, you think so? It's just some light. I switched shampoos. Oh, not sure about it yet. So, what are you up to later? Is it me or are Amanda's bangs kind of crooked? The bang yang is kind of like tilted a little bit. <laughs> um, you know, work. Work. We've got a dark room all nighter in my immediate future. Yup. Mm. That Protestant work ethic's a killer. Her bangs are killing me though. <laughs> you know she's flirting through, right? I know. What? I know. Amanda, are you actually this oblivious? I'm not oblivious. I knew what was going on, okay, Sophie. Hold the phone. Max is I a Casanova. Someone is flirting. It just takes me a while to decide if I want to flirt back. Mm. Did you go on a multi-year cross-country road trip? Did you get laid even once? <laughs> Sophie? <gasps> Is this about the blue-haired girl whose picture you keep in your wallet? Oh. Wait, you snooped in my wallet? Stop deflecting. The girl with the blue hair. The girl with the blue hair, What's the deal with you two? What was the deal? We were just friends. We were high school sweethearts. Look, we were kind of high school sweethearts. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of complicated though, you feel me? It's, it's a little complicated. <laughs> high school breakup turned into Miss Havisham? Bro. It was a little more complicated. Than right, it was, it was complicated. Can, can we change the subject now? No, come on. You never talk about yourself. Would it kill you to open up the teeny tiniest bit? Yo. What happened? What happened? Oh, this is a big choice. <gasps> we broke up. She died? Wait. So this is how they're going to respect both endings? Oh, my goodness. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I know the price, the price fielders are hurt, bro, over this one. Me personally, my ending, she died in my ending. You know what I'm saying? I, I pick I picked the bay over bay. You know what I'm saying? I know the price builders. Y'all not gonna like this one. This this not <laughs> I wonder what happens when you do say we broke up though. I gotta see somebody's playthrough of that of, of the we broke up situation. I'm gonna pick she died though, cause that's canon in my playthrough of Life is Strange 1. So yeah. Bro, she died so many times in Life is Strange 1 too, bro. We kept rewinding, rewinding, she was dying, rewinding, dying like Dang, Chloe. It was almost as if, like, she was meant to die. I'm just saying, bro. Like, dang. Like, as many times as we tried to keep her alive, bro, she always ended up... Something bad always happened. I'm just gonna go with she died, she... though. That... Wait, this died. actually will have consequences. Wow. My senior year. Oh. Shit. Dang, bro. No, hey, it's cool. It was a long time ago. Dang, Max. You... Want to talk about something? That's why else. I didn't want to talk about it. It hits home yes. a little bit. Yeah. Deal. Amanda. Ah. Uh, I mean, obviously, I have a huge crush. I mess with Amanda. I don't know her too well, though. You know, as a, as a player, I don't know her too too well. So it's like, she's not my type. Obviously, I have a crush. I gotta get past the bayang though. It's a little like, you feel me? Like, 
If I put a ruler to it, it's gonna crook a little bit. Damn, but, son. I mean, she's not, she not my type. She's not my type. She, she is pretty though. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, she cool. She cool. It's just that she not, she not my type. You're always talking about how you feel rootless. Maybe a new friend would be a good way to set down some roots. Oh, you mean like with Talk benefits though? Like friends with benefits about type of deal? what? What do normal people even talk about? Mostly gas prices. But we're aiming a little bit higher. I mean, go look around. She's responsible for half the decor in this place. This is a nice spot, though. It's chill. She likes. It's chill, a little laid back, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, not, you know? I saw the pride flag in the back. I see you. Shout out to my pride people, bro. You feel me? I love y'all, man. Y'all some real ones. Uh, pinky out. Pinky out. You know what I'm saying? Dang, she chugged the mess out of that. Ooh. Dang, Max. Time to go be normal. That's what it takes for me too, though, sometimes, Max. You feel me? I need me a drink in my system to actually, like, get out my shell. I'm a very introverted type of person, you feel me? All Learn about Amanda's is interests. Find some things Amanda likes and then talk about them. I can do that. Oh, they want me to go flirt. It's like a dating simulator. Okay, hold on. Oh, we got the... We got the phone now. Okay, look, 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 look. All right, so look. Wait, Joyce? Hey, Max, remember me? It's Joyce, Chloe's mom. I know it's been a while. I was cleaning the house the other day and I found the cutest photo of you and Chloe dressed like pirates. Yo, my, wait, is, oh my gosh. Wait, is that, is it from that time capsule that we found? Bro, y'all remember the time capsule that we found that had like all the pictures and we were playing pirates before Max left? I'd plan to send you a pic, but it turns out I misplaced it almost immediately. It, it's so funny seeing Joyce use emojis. <laughs> oh, by the way, your parents told me about your award. We all knew you had it in you. Thanks, Joyce. It was pretty cool to be recognized. Happy birthday, Max. Next time you're home, there's a slice of cake with your name on it at the Two Whales. Today's the anniversary, Max. Losing my daughter, losing Chloe. I still get lonely without her, but there's comfort knowing you're here because you cared as deeply about Chloe as I did, and you still do. I'm so sorry, Joyce. Yo. Oh, I, you, know what's, you know what makes me happy, though? I'm glad that she still keeps in contact with Joyce. I had no problem with Joyce. Jo was Joyce, like, the best mother, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it, arguable. It's very arguable, but she was still like she was still a mom at the end of the day. You feel me? Who tried her best? You feel me? I I don't know. I just I just love the fact that they're like tight. You feel me? In the name of Chloe too, like keeping Chloe's legacy alive as well. Shout out to Joyce for real, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad like she didn't get mad at Max or like she's kind of like distancing herself from Max, and they still have like a cool relationship. She's still checking in on you know what I'm saying? Still checking in on Max and everything, congratulating her on her award. Like it's tough without Chloe though for sure. It was really it's really tough, but I'm glad to see this is a, still a relationship. Moses, hold on, bro. What kind of convos we got here, Moses? Let me see. Hey Max, sorry for the sort of short notice, but I'm on the fence. About about the Halloween party at Vince. Oh no, Moses, everything okay? Yeah, yeah, Safi and I went last year and it was a good time. Only I went a little overboard with the festivities. Let's just say I was Tetsuo and Vin's apartment was Neo Tokyo. Wait, Tetsuo? Is that a Akira? Is that a Akira reference? That's an anime reference, right? Maxine Caulfield, you're killing me. <laughs> I'm joking, everyone has seen Akira. Okay, yeah, I, I was thinking like Tetsuo and then Neo Tokyo reminds me of Akira. You better be. If you change your mind about the party, let me know. And if you're still a no, I can bring you back something from Neo Osaka. <laughs> Max, please, the wound is still fresh. Yo, Max, Safi texted me a little bit ago, said you were both still hung over from Halloween. Yeah, my ceiling finally stopped spinning an hour ago. It's been a morning. Max, it's almost 1 p.m. <laughs> Moses, please don't drink shame me. Right, sorry. I want to see if y'all need a ride to the snapping turtle. I haven't had lunch yet either, and I imagine you two could use my company. Oh my god, you are a saint. Which is nice since it's All Saints Day. All Saints Day was yesterday. All Saints Week, then. I'll see you in a bit. It's the second Friday of the month, Max. Uh, yep, it sure is. Wait, Moses. What did I forget? Mana Massive. Again. Oh shit, that's today? It is every month. If you don't want to play, it's fine. I'll understand. But I want you to tell me in person, to my face, that you don't want to play. You know, I don't have that kind of willpower. I barely have enough to make coffee most mornings. Fair enough. Guess it'll be me and Diamond again. Diamond likes to play because it's fun. Just don't act surprised when I bring this up again next month, all right? You will not guilt me into playing your collectible card game, Moses. You say that now, but I can already sense the equivocation in your text. I told you, my willpower was not what it used to be. You still coming to a movie night or no? Sincerest apologies, Moses. I fell behind on grading. 
Uh-huh, I bet you did. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? It's supposed to mean that this is the second time something came up when Safi picked the movie. What? That's a coincidence. In fact, that's precisely what coincidence means. Look, if I have to suffer through the inanity of Brain Bucket 2, I'm not doing it without backup. Wait a minute, Brain Bucket 2 is my choice. Well, my point still stands. You still can't believe you didn't like Brain Bucket 2. Movie night isn't about having fun, Max. It's about having fun and the suffering we inflict upon our friends along the way. Is that an Orson Welles quote? Yo, are you sticking around campus for the holiday? Yeah, you need me to keep an eye on your lab? Honestly, better if you didn't. There's a lot of delicate equipment in there. Hey, I'm a photographer. I handle delicate equipment better than anyone. That's crazy because I recall her tossing her camera at the bowling alley. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to make sure you'll be all right so far from home and all. Oh, that's sweet. I'll manage. I've been on my own plenty of times before, and Safi will be around. She will. She's good like that. I think you're good for each other. F-W-I-W. -W. Wait, dang, I'm getting old. What does that mean, bro? For what it's, for what it's worth, I'm gonna say. For what it's worth, I think all three of us are. You free to grab a bite at the snapping turtle? I could use a vent session. For you? Always. Can't remember the last time I heard you vent. Well, Safi wasn't answering, so... Ah, yes. Good old contingency call field. Love to be second fiddle. <laughs> Do you want to meet or not? Yeah, I'm only fucking with you. So, what's the nature of the vent age? The new telescope I ordered with school funds is on back order. Damn, that does suck. It does. It wasn't on back order when I ordered it. I was going to set it up as a treat to my students for finals week. Okay, yeah, I can see how that would be get under your skin. How that would get under your skin. Okay, I love the fact that there was a typo right there. I love that. Thanks, Max. I'll see you at the turtle in a few. Usual seat. Hey, let me know when your top secret photo shoot is over and I'll meet you and Safi. Moses, if it's top secret, please don't mention it over text. Max, it's pictures. Of Safi, I imagine? It's not code breaking at Bletchley Park. You don't know that. It could be Bletchley Park. Right. Usual table? Usual table. I'll text you when we finish. I'll bring my decoder ring. <laughs> nah, Moses seems like a cool dude. I can't wait to meet him. Safi, okay. Not to rush you or anything, but Halloween is in three days. We doing this costume or not? I don't really care if we win gold at Vin's theme party. I do care if our costume puts whatever he's wearing to shame. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I just need to pick up one last thing from the store and then we're golden. Well, shake a leg, bitch. This is very important to me. It should be to you too. You and I have very different definitions of the importance of Halloween. And I say that as an avowed gore hound. Beep, beep, Max, your chariot awaits or whatever. I'll be out in one sex. One, <laughs> I'll be out in one sex. <laughs> It's been five minutes. That barely counts as one sex. <laughs> Coming now. Believe it when I see it. Okay, uh, I think I'm almost recovered from Halloween. How you holding up? I say now, I know how the undead feel, but I think even they're managing better than I am. Same boat, friend. How about this? If the harsh light of day doesn't turn you to dust, meet me at the turtle for the greasiest breakfast known to man and the bloodiest Marys a man can make. Let me peel myself out of bed and get back to you. Good call. Let's make it actual brunch instead. Fuck it. Lunch even. It can still be greasy. God, this is the best idea anyone has ever had. I know it's a school night, but you cool to meet your favorite poet for a drink? Oh, she's a poet. Okay. I got you. Just wrapping up some grading I put off to the absolute last minute. Cool. I finished book draft underscore final underscore final final underscore. This time I mean it underscore volume four about 12 minutes ago and the adrenaline is making me nauseous. Oh, congrats, Safi. Doing never feels better than done. Thanks, Max. I might have given myself carpal tunnel, but I can still bend the elbow in the parlance of our times. First two rounds on me. Is it cool if I invite Moses? I was going to text him next. Great minds, etc. Sorry I've been MIA in Textland for a minute, Textland. Been thinking about my final draft and if I need to do another final lure draft on it. Having trouble focusing on my students' work as a result. You're a great writer, Safi. Give yourself a little grace, okay? Easier said than done. Just give it another few days. You do know this will be the longest another few days of my life, right? I know. And when it gets published, think of the stories you can tell about it on your illustrious book tour. Fuck, I hate when you're right. Hey, not being a weird creeper, but were you at the turtle like 30 minutes ago? I was. Still am. Oh, I assume you're going home for Thanksgiving holiday. Oh, yeah. Not a bad assumption, honestly. I'd just rather not be interrogated by my parents as to when they can expect grandkids. Facts! Facts! That is so facts, bro. And why none have been forthcoming as of yet. Fucking yikes. Much easier to deploy them from 3,000 miles away. Says you. I disappoint my mom to her face all the time. It's one of my sterling traits. 
One of many with a winky emoji, what? And that segue is to say that if you wanna see that disappointment happen in 4K, you can always join us for dinner that night. <laughs> I know mom loved to have you and I would too. That's really sweet, Safi. Hey, it's only so she can harangue someone else about non-existent grandkids for once. Dang, that's a big word, bro. You can tell she a poet. Ha, <laughs> maybe I can learn some new deflection techniques to try out on my parents. That's the spirit. Hey, can I bug you about something real quick? My book is done. I have nothing but free time. Outside of my classes, I mean. Cool. I've been wanting to shoot an abandoned space for a new series I'm planning. Or at least in order to knock the rust off. Haven't done it much due to the class workload. Where are you thinking? That's the thing. I was hoping you'd have some ideas. I am so fucking glad you asked. Meet me at the turtle later today. I'll bring a whole list. Done and done. Thanks, Safi. So what time are we linking up for this photo shoot? How does 1.30 sound? Like this. 1.30. <laughs> And then the emoji right <laughs> Sorry, 130 works. Anything I should bring? Just your winning personality and maybe a keen eye, but you can leave the bad jokes at home. No can do. The bad jokes are part of me now, Max. The professor said the experiment was irreversible. Safi, please. Okay, but only this once and only because I like you. Aw, uh, that's a W friendship right there. I like those two. I like Moses and Safi, bro. Moses and Safi are cool people, for real. Yasmin, hold on. Hello, Maxine. Welcome to Chaldean University. I am Dr. Yasmin Fayad. We spoke over the phone, so this is simply a follow-up message. I know everyone is so excited to meet you and to experience all that you have to offer. I hope the feeling is mutual. Oh, so this is like a professor. Hold on. Oh, it certainly is. I cannot thank you enough for this amazing opportunity, Dr. Fayad. You can tell it's definitely someone of like a higher status because like the way that Max is talking to her, you definitely can tell. No need to be so formal, Maxine. You can call me Yasmin. I'm only Dr. Fayad when I'm fundraising. <laughs> well then, thank you, Yasmin. Hello, Maxine. It's Yasmin. I trust that you're settling in and that both students and faculty are treating you well? I am, and thank you. The campus is really gorgeous, and I can't wait to capture its beauty on film, on my own and with my students. Oh, lovely. I know I'm not alone in anticipation of seeing your work here at Chaldean. Safiya told me at lunch today that you two are getting along famously. Well, she phrased it more crudely, but that was the gist of it. She's been very aloof the past while, so it is remarkable to hear that you have been instrumental in her returning to her old self. Oh, this is her mother! Your daughter is truly a delight to be around, Yasmin. It's been way too long since I met someone as engaging and as witty as Safi. If anything, I should be thanking you. I appreciate that, Maxine. That really does mean a lot. Hi, Maxine. I wanted to thank you for displaying your work in the Fine Arts Building this past weekend. Parents Weekend is always a big event, and everyone was raving about your photography. You are a major asset to our humble institution. It was my pleasure. I never know how people are going to react to my art, so I love to hear that it was a success. It was no surprise to me. I knew they'd love it. Hi, Maxine. I apologize if this is too forward, but Safiya intimated that you might not be returning home for the Thanksgiving holiday. I know travel at this time of year can be maddening, and I wanted to extend an invitation to dine with Safiya and me, if you like. It's not a holiday we've celebrated in the past, really, but all the same, I'd hate for you to be alone, and I know she'd agree. Thank you, Yasmin. I've been a bit under the weather recently. If I'm feeling better come Thursday, I'll let you know, though. Of course, and please do feel better soon. I love families like this, bro. I love families that, like, really try to include others, like, outside people to come into their family, especially, like, during these holidays where, like, you're supposed to be with family or friends or whatever, and if they feel like you're alone, their invitation goes out to you. I love that. That is just, like... That just shows the character of a person, bro. I love that about people, for real. All right, crosstalk. Is this the uh, my block of uh, Life is Strange double exposure? Let me see. We got the main feed, bro. Safi. Cup of Safi is her at. For your information, there's a lot you can do in this world with a good friend who won't snitch. Reggie said, preach. Rowan said, so true. No one knows how to keep a secret anymore. Shake my damn head. Yasmin, her mother commented on the post. I'm curious whether you're the good friend or the one in need of such a friend. Safia? <laughs> Bro, yo mom? Yo mom commenting on something like this? That's OD. That's OD. <laughs> okay, we got the picture. Nebula series. Abandoned planets taken with a DSLR. Lakeport. Okay, Vermont. Lakeport, Vermont. BT's Vermont, right, y'all? Max. Do the looking Max. Oh, that's a tough ad. I mess with that. I do. I really do. Vanessa said, what a shot. Reggie said, looks like it's going to come apart any second. Oh, Reggie's the jokester, huh? Safi, Max owes me her life. <laughs> It's so crazy to see these are the actual pictures I took too. They're actually commenting on my pictures. Plug. The pictures that I took. I took the angles and everything, the zoom in, zoom outs. They commenting on all my pics. Yasmin said, I like the composition of this one. Safi said, mom, blah. Yasmin said, what? It's a nice picture. I appreciate you. 
you ask me, you know what I'm saying? Real stuff. And at least somebody respect the composition of this pick, bro. Cause it's a it's a beautiful pick for real. I put my soul in this pick. Dude, all my pictures are on here, bro. Reggie said, oh God, what is that? Moses said mold probably. Y'all telling me y'all don't see the pick. It might be mold. You right. You might it might be mold, but y'all don't y'all not seeing the vision? Y'all not seeing the, the face that's in this that's on the wall right here? There is a face of mold right there, bro. If it's mold, it's a face. Huh? It's a face of mold. Diamond said, no way. Someone spray painted that. Amanda said, teeth, 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 teeth. Bro, who's diamond? Hold on, diamond. Hold on. Hey, you know. What I mean? Hi, Diamond. Who Diamond? Do we meet Diamond soon? Bro, Amanda's profile pick. <laughs> That's funny. This is a good pick. This is a good pick. I gotta see what they're gonna say in the comments about this one, because this one's hard. Vanessa said, very nice, honey. Moses said, hey, the top secret photo shoot. Diamond said, cool shot. Creepy. I gotta see what Diamond about. Diamond seemed like she cool people too. She seemed like she in tune with the with the vision, bro. She in tune with the artistic ability. Huh? Bro, Reggie's ad name is Reggie Tales. <laughs> Of course, bro. Reggie said, you ever feel like you've wasted the last couple years of your life slamming your head against a wall you're not smart enough to break through? No? Good. Me neither. What's the point, bro? Like, he's trying to make jokes. Marlon said, change your major, dude. <laughs> Diamond said, you want to get a drink? Fuck yes. That sound like, yeah, he, it sounds like he need a drink for sure. Martin said, your career outlook with an econ degree is much better than pretty much any other major at Chaldean. If that helps, it doesn't. Fair enough. <laughs> this sounds like a Reddit post, bro. <laughs> Moses. <laughs> What a bunch of dorks. Hold on. Bro, his ass Cosmoses. That's that's very clever. I like that. Fun fact about tonight's Geminides. Most meteor showers come from comets, but this one comes from an asteroid. Phaethon 3200. Phaethon has the closest orbit to the sun of any asteroid. That's some good info right there. All right, Mr. Astrologer. I like that. Safi said, another fun fact. Phaethon is named after the son of the Greek sun god Helios. He drove his dad's sun chariot for one, one day and did such a shit job, Zeus killed him with lightning. Safi, that fact is not fun. Who doesn't love a good smite? <laughs> I love these two, bro. I love Moses and Safi, bro. Oh wait, this is Vin. All I do is Vin, rise and grind. Okay, what? What, is this a flex? Is this a flex, bro? I, I see what type of person Vin is, bro. Look, 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 Asher said, no grinding in public. You must be new here. <laughs> Rebecca said, does President Fayad know you're posting her office? Dang, she's not the boss of me. She literally is. Only legally. <laughs> Juliet said, I need coffee. Just made a fresh pot. Come by admin when you get a chance. I'll feed you. Huh? Can I show this to mom? <laughs> Y'all probably like, K-Rod, play the game, play the game. But like... They got so many things I gotta get to here, bro. Hold on. I'll probably have a timestamp for y'all if y'all wanna skip all this, you know what I'm saying? Um, just let y'all know, cause this, this is a lot of reading. So I'll probably have a, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely have a timestamp for y'all. Moses said, much love to Tony, the best boo ever. For the finals week care package, old what's her name never did anything like this for me. What? Much love to Tony, the best boo ever? Wait a minute. Tony said, oh my God, Moses, you play too much. You ain't have to call out that girl you dated for like two months freshman year when we was on the break. Marquis said, damn, little bro, putting all her business in the street? I didn't even know you and Tony were ever not together. <laughs> Carla said, chanting with increased intensity, name and shame, name and shame, name and shame, name and shame. Nah, that's, that's crazy. The Abraxas is a student society. They oh. do performance art, which as far as I can tell, just means juvenile pranks. Got you, okay. Boring Sunday, feeling the ennui? Huh? What's going on in front of the chem building? Brought to you by the Abrax Society. Okay. Rowan, hell yeah. Reggie said, guys, is that piss? Diamond said, I think it's Mountain Dew. <laughs> Alice, for the love of fuck. I just want to get to my finals. Kyle, hey, it's me. You can't even read it. <laughs> I guess you can read it from space. Nah, this is funny. Bro, like, you have to read these. I, I really, truly believe you have to read these to get some lore, bro. Get some background on, like, what's going on on campus. Victoria. V Ch Victoria Chase? Hold on, Victoria! I mean, we got our differences and stuff like that. Like, you were, like, mean to me on some on some weird stuff, but but you were you were getting groomed really bad. Like, I, I was feeling for you at the end, you feel me? Like, you really, they, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, Mr. Jefferson had it out for you, and, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I get it, like, you were, like, trying to crush on him, but that, that's not right, you feel me? Like, he's not supposed to be doing all that. 
<laughs> and I'm glad he got brought down to justice. You feel me? Bro, where's Warren at? Show me Warren. Is Warren cool? That's all I really want to know for real. Photographing Montserrat Andino for Gaze Magazine was a dream come true. Check the January issue for the rest of the shoot. Dang, Victoria. That's one thing about Victoria though. She had the eye. She had a really good eye when it came down to the photography mix. You feel me? I love that. Kyra said, Vic, this is so good. Did you come up for the shoot concept? Victoria said, I did. The waterfall was a beast to work with, but Montserrat was a great sport. Madeleine said, gorgeous work. If only you had shoots closer to Seattle. Thanks, mom. And I'm bringing my camera when I visit for Christmas. Oh, her mom. Okay, okay, cool. I'm glad to see you, Victoria, doing all right. You know what I'm saying? It's always good to see a fellow uh, Life is Strange one cast member. You feel me? Like, I really do enjoy that. You know what I'm saying? I really do like like to see that. I got no beef with her anymore, bro. We, we grown. We grew up. You know what I'm saying? We, we in college now doing our own thing. You know, like, hey, bro, no bad blood. Here. A man does said open mic night sign up sheet is looking pretty empty folks be sure to sign or I'll have to resort to an entire night of duck jokes <laughs> This man Martin said typo. Did you mean eggplant jokes? <laughs> Dude, Ashley said no, but she does have an entire bit about duck penises. You don't want to hear about the duck penises Michelle said bring it on duck jokes quack me up Loretta, get a clue with LR. Thrilled to say that the most recent ep of Get a Clue, Crosstalk's number one true crime podcast, hit 1,000 downloads in one day. A new record. W. W. Loretta. All right, cool. Robin said, thanks for having me as your guest this week. I love chatting about my pre-Chaldean days as a mortician and sharing all the funeral industry hot goss. Loretta said, I should be thanking you. I had no idea that so many morticians had sold bodies. Lionel said, look, everyone, my daughter is a famous podcaster. Dad, you're embarrassing me on the internet, and thanks. I love seeing the parents chime in too, bro. The parents are, are chiming in with their kids and stuff. That's so cool, bro. I don't know. It, it's like it's like kind of embarrassing, but it's like, ah, uh, the, the parents are in the mix. I love it. I love it. I'm about to butcher this name. My apologies. Ratty for my own edification and to ensure I'm not tilting at windmills here. Are others interested in a four-day work week at Caldean? Gwen said, oh, yes. Fuck yes, even. Give me a thing to sign and consider it signed. <laughs> Livia said, Rati, I'm only visiting, sure, and my poetry comes when it comes. I'm on board in theory, but how likely is something like that to pass? Carla said, an extra day off for research? Or staying up till dawn to stargaze? Who would say no to that? Gwen needs that break. <laughs> she said, oh yes, fuck yes, even. <laughs> Safi, some of you don't know when to quit. Moses said, I call foul. I turn away for one sec and somehow I'm missing pieces. Gotta pay attention in life and in games. I demand a rematch. Great eye, Reggie. Dang, Reggie. Lake Champlain, gray morning. This is a good pick, bro. Oh my goodness. All right, cool, Reggie. Asher said, this looks awesome, bro. Diamond said, less pictures, more studying, Reg. You're not my real mom. May said, this one's going on the fridge when you get home. Is that a threat? Bro. Nah, Reggie's a character. He, he seems funny too. I haven't really gotten no weird vibes from nobody yet. You know what I'm saying? Everybody pretty pretty cool on campus here. Like there's some quirky people, but they're all, they're all cool in their own little way, bro. I like it. Bro. Jasmine, prospective undergraduates. You have until the end of the month to submit your application to Caldean. Huh? We'd love to have you. Gwen said, especially if you're interested in our writing programs. Get those apps in, folks. W. Yasmin said, I'm sorry, that comment was a mistake, but I can't figure out how to delete it. I'm still fairly new to crosstalk. Safi said, another hit from the creator of Woman Accidentally FaceTimes Her Dentist 10 times in a row. What? Safi said, but in all seriousness, just press the red X. Yasmin said, I don't see it. Calling you. <laughs> that is a mom interaction, bro. Holy, bro. It low-key reminds me of me and my mom, for real, bro. Like, oh my gosh, like, you, you gotta call me for this? Like, ugh. Gosh, I love it though. I love helping my mom when it comes down to it. It's like, oh, my poor thing. Like, I, let me help you, please, please. <laughs> okay, we got diamond. Hold on, shine bright like a. Oh, you hear the diamond? Yo, that is hard. Happy 27th to one of my biggest fans, my sister Gladys. You're officially old now, so I can't wait to see what new wisdom comes with age. Gladys says 27 isn't old, right? I'm 27. That's not old. Come on now. I, people call me unk. That's cool, bro. But I don't feel old at all, bro. I feel like I'm, I'm like where I'm supposed to be, you feel me? I swear, these kids today got no proper home training. Disrespecting their elders. Love you, D. <laughs> Vanetta Diamond, you know full well you're not supposed to put a woman's big age all over social media like that. Gladys said, big age? 
I'm only two years older than you, Vani. Oldest daughters really do have it the hardest. Diamond said, aw, I love that we can be together like this for your big day, Gladys. Even if we can't be together IRL this year. Aw, oh, that's so sweet. W family moment, bro. Yo, Joyce, it's Joyce. Oh my gosh, Joyce, the Joyce of cooking. Ah, oh, that's, that's a good name, that's a good name too. Ever since I retired, living alone has been lonely. So I became a kitten foster. Welcome to the Price household skillet, walk, griddle, and saucepan. <laughs> skillet, walk, griddle, and saucepan just sounds right up Joyce's alley, bro. It just sounds like the perfect names for pets for her, bro. Oh my goodness. Vanessa said, sweet creatures, get ready for little surprises all over your house while you're the litter box training though. Joy said, oh, believe me, we went through that with Bongo, Bongo cat. I haven't had a cat since him. He was a good boy. Vanessa, maybe I can convince Ryan. We need to foster kittens during our retirement too. Last but not least, we have Gwen. Gwen Chant for trouble. There are a few spots left on the wait list for crafting a memoir in the spring. Sign up before they're full. All majors are welcome. Livia said, I've heard nothing but good things about this class from my students. Gwen said, thank you, Livia. Diamond said, I wouldn't call myself a writer, but I was a lot more confident about my writing after this class. Highly recommend. You are a talented writer, Diamond. No quotes needed. Keep writing. Thanks, Professor Hunter. Drew said, wouldn't recommend if you're not an English major. Gwen said, I specifically said all majors are welcome. Drew said, you say that, but it's too hard if you're not. Just my opinion. Diamond said, I'm not an English major and I passed. Drew said, you're not everyone. Diamond said, I know why you didn't pass. Kick rocks, clown. Martin said, it's her class. Wouldn't she know who's welcome? <laughs> Bro, they jumping Drew, bro. All right, that was pretty cool. We got some major lore on Chaldean huh? University. Soup pole. So fucking old. No way. Who's the bad? soup future is in my hands. Soup pole. Next week's flavor will be Senegalese peanut soup. New England clam chowder. Huh? I don't, bro. I don't know what peanut soup. I don't know clam chowder. I've never had any of these, so I don't know. Are they gonna make me choose? All I have to do is find some things Amanda likes and then talk about them. Okay. I can do that. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. Hold on, I gotta add a vote to the soup hole though. What sounds good though, y'all? Senegalese peanut soup or New England clam chowder? Clam chowder just sounds OD disgusting to me, bro. I'm just gonna go with peanut soup. I'm gonna go with peanut soup, I've bro. I've never been able to say no to a good lagoon. Good lagoon. There we go. Love it. Love it. There we go. Bro, somebody in the comments gonna be like, Ch bro, clam chowder is to die for. You cannot convince me, bro. I'm sorry. Oh, it's Reggie and Diamond. Y'all know it's crazy, though? I tried to read their emotions, bro. <laughs> I thought I was Alex for a minute. Hold on. <laughs> How do you do, fellow kids? Plans for the holidays? Plans for tonight? Let me talk about the holidays. What they got going on? You guys aren't sticking around over Christmas, are you? Let's see. Stay here? Or go home and let my dad drag me to church three times a week. <laughs> oh, I'll be here. Besides, a lot of the Abraxas kids stay over break. We've all got tasks to finish. You look like an Abraxas kid. What kind of secret society assigns busy work? The kind that's famous for immature oh, pranks diamond. and ragers. So... I love the locks. Why do people join Abraxas? It just sounds like a lot of stress. The only thing worse than being an Abraxas is not being in Abraxas, <laughs> if you want any recognition at all. It didn't used to be this way. It used to be about activism and creating art that matters. Now it's mostly for networking and worshiping Vin Lang, the president. Vin Lang. Sounds so he's the like president of that, okay. Bummer. Well, good luck, you guys. <laughs> yeah, hope y'all get that situated, bro. You know what I'm saying? Happy holidays also. 10 bucks she asks her out. I saw what was in your pocket, baby. Damn, son. Buy me another beer. Loki called him broke. <laughs> Hold up. I'm just peeping the music. Yo, this is fine. The last time I saw her movie poster. Hell yeah, Diamond. Way to go. Written and directed by Diamond Washington. Wow, the last time I saw her. Wow, okay, W. Yo, winner of the Collegiate Film Association's Best Picture Award. Hell yeah, diamond right on. I love that. Bro, this graffiti looks sick, bro. This reminds me of, of Jinx from Arcane, bro. Collage what? art. There's no way this is meant to be like this. The Divine Feminine, Alicia Torres. Dang, I got a life. <laughs> Immortal alien. I mean, who am I to judge people's art, bro? This is cool. It's cool. I, I personally don't understand, but it's cool, bro. The Divine Feminine, W, bro. Polaroid. 
Oh wait, you can take uh, it. Ah, undergrads. Ah, uh, that's a good. That's a good pick. Got us a little Kodak moment going right there. Wait, native artist spotlight. Gotta love any piece that can make a snowy tree look somehow cozy. Ooh, that looks good, bro. Watercolors. That looks so good. Well, that that's doesn't fire, look bro. right. My grandpa used to kill with the watercolor art, bro. He used to go crazy, man. He would really admire this. Like, he Gosh, would enjoy this. I gotta show him this really stuff. really beautiful. Caledon doesn't have a monopoly on Lakeport's artistic genius, I guess. Dang, that looks good, bro. I wish I could do stuff like that. Handwritten notes? I admire commitment to a bit as much as the next girl. But the bit here is just... <laughs> Yo, she said to the assholes who keep flipping the painting, stop messing with other people's art, Amanda. W Amanda, that's facts. Y'all out there messing with the people's art, bro. Just because you jealous that you can't do half the things that they can do, that don't mean you gotta mess up their they art, bro. You don't gotta mess up the art. Keep your hands to yourself, bro. I love Amanda's little drawing of her, bro. Like, that's so funny. Oh, it says fix the flip paintings. What paintings are... Oh, this was flipped upside down. I was wondering, I thought it was just like the look. So it was flipped upside down, okay. Cool. Let me help her out a little bit. There you go. Yeah, don't be touching people's stuff, man. Like whoever, whoever flipping people's pictures, don't be a hater. That's not cute. Come on now. Cow skull. He and I cannot stress this enough. Huh. <laughs> wait, that's wait. That was from another Life is Strange game that she said that, right? Huh? Or am I tripping? Cause I remember, I remember that exact line, bro. That exact joke. Ye and I cannot stress this enough. Ha. <laughs> Hold up, they got a worse pickup lines board here? Oh man, I want to get on the bad pickup line board. I wonder if anyone here knows any good ones I can borrow. Yo, this week's worst pickup lines, bro. Look at this, number one, do you have kidney stones? Cause your body rocks. <laughs> Two, hey baby, if you were in a book, you'd be fine print. What? Three, you must be a bank because you have my interest. And I have to wait in line to talk to you. <laughs> Membership list? Wait. Good beer, good ethics. What else could you ask for? Oh, bro, good beer and good ethics? Hey, man, that's a good time, bro. That's a good time right there. Owned by members and democratically managed by an elected board, the Snapping Turtle believes in beer, art, sustainability, and a fair labor practices. You don't have to be a member owner of the Snapping Turtle to enjoy what we have to offer, but supporting us means supporting the arts in a fair and equitable way of life. I support the Snapping Turtle, bro. I would be here every day. I ain't gonna hold y'all, bro. I would definitely be here every day. Grad student? Hold on, let me see. Ah, uh, yes. The telltale signs of a 10 coffee. Oh, I didn't even peep all the coffee on. Bro, this is what grad school does to y'all, bro. You get those coffee stacked up, bro. If one turns into two, two turns into three. You feel me? Like, it just keeps stacking, bro. Robot painting. Oh, let me check to see if any of these are upside down, too. Yeah, they are, bro. Who keeps doing this? Who keeps doing this, bro? Whoever, whoever keep messing with these paintings, bro, come see Max Caulfield about it. Cause she gonna put you in your place. Is that a dog pooping? Nap in peace, Bro, this friend. is a tough pick though. I would totally have this hanging up on my wall somewhere. It's a robot just chilling, bro. Like, that's fire. I don't care what nobody say, bro. It got like the, the flowers in the background and like the robot just chilling, bro. Like, just like vibing for real. Staff recommendations? Amanda recommends misery cult, huh? I can work with that. Oh, okay, okay. That's some good info. She messed with the misery cult. Okay, I all right. should be but... able to break the ice now. Not that having more to talk about or more pickup lines for her chalkboard ever hurts. I mean, you read my mind, Max. Let's keep looking around. Let me see what this family photo is talking about. Jeez, Amanda has a huge family. Wonder what that's like. Dang. Thomas family hike at Lybrook Falls. Dang. Beer taps? Amanda probably knows which beer is actually good. Mm. I could ask her. Go, go, go. All right. I have a handful of topics. I am completely and totally prepared to talk to Amanda. Let's do it. Normal human being. Though I could always get more pickup line ideas. Who can I talk to about pickup lines? Oh, you know what? Hold on. Do my friends have pickup lines? Yeah. Okay. 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 Survey question. You two know any good pickup lines? Come on. Don't don't make it awkward, y'all. Come on, please. Just bear with me here. Lots of calories in that drink. 
I know a great way to burn them off. You gotta be sexual, bro. <laughs> Too old school. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Cringe worthy, <laughs> but a classic. Maybe that'll get me up there. Uh, I don't know, bro. I have a handful of topics. I am completely and totally prepared to talk to Amanda. No, 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 no. I wanted Diamond to give so me one. I could always get more pickup line ideas. Let me see. What about Safi? Can Safi give me one? Oh, she can. Okay, y'all. Let's go. Tell me you've got a terrible pickup line to share. Are you a campfire? Because you're smoking hot and I want some more. <laughs> oh, you're good. That's a good one. That's a good one. I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it. If, it, okay. if I have to, I'm going to use it. That's enough material, right? We're chilling. Yeah, three pickup lines. We're good. Amanda, what's good? Busy night. Oh, Julie called off, so I haven't gotten a single break all shift. My bladder's about to explode. <laughs> Go pee. You can talk to me later. It's a fabulous idea. Don't go anywhere. I'm... Who breaking glass? That's the third glass this week. Reg Come on, <laughs> Reginald. I talking about this bathroom. Now, right, my up. literal angel, I owe you. Oh, okay, okay. Out of the way, freshman. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's 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 real Reggie's though. That's too real. I'm not gonna make him sweep up the glass. I should tell him like, yo, my boy, sweep this up. Come here, my sharp little friends. Cool. Moonlighting, huh? <laughs> Hey, photography's a tough industry. Dude, it's actually Max, bro. That's still, that's still going crazy, man. Oh my gosh. Next time, remember, the class goes on the table. Yeah, he know, he know Max mean business. Whole time though, Max really could be a bully though. Like she could really grab bro by the collar and shake him up up against this wall like you better not drop another damn glass this week i promise you that if you do i'm gonna put you on the ground and uh back to what we were talking about though you know oh. what I'm saying? what's up my bladder thanks you i think the bladder tell your bladder huh? it's my pleasure yeah okay yeah so hey you were gonna say something before all that oh yeah um first things first bro since you are a bartender I had questions about uh, beer recommendations. I'm not a drinker myself, so it's like. Someone who hates the taste of beer. Yeah, yeah. Handlebar cider. That's the maxist thing on tap. Oh, I bet. How I bet. It's my job to know the regulars. I am the all seeing eye of Lakeport, Vermont. <laughs> okay, okay. You're starting to sound like one of those Abraxas guys. That dork ass rich kid secret society bites your tongue. Dang! <laughs> Uh, okay, let's talk, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna ease into the pickup lines, but hey, uh, let's talk about, uh, let's talk about Misery Cult, yeah. So, you're a Misery Cult fan? For sure. <laughs> so cool that you know them. Yeah. Yeah, um, um, yeah, they're great, yeah. Uh, yeah, they're great. The, um, guitar solos. Yup. The, vo the vocals. Yup. So. You've never heard of them. <laughs> Fuck. Busted. It's cute it's though, right? I tried. If I had a nickel for every time I pretended to know what the Smiths sound like. So, educate me. Right. I wanna know. Ooh, wait, Max is Mr. cooking. Cult were the first band out of Lakeport to make it big. They kind of founded the Lakeport music scene. Okay. Respect. Um, how big are they? What does make it big mean in this context? I mean, they got college radio airplay as far away as New Hampshire. So yeah, <laughs> pretty big. Okay, all right, cool. Um, do I ask about the family? I kind of want to try to pick up lines. I'm, I'm gonna skip family. I'm gonna skip family. Let's go to pick up lines. Let's go to pick up lines. I gotta know what the deal is with the pick up lines. My buddy Henry and I were co-headlining a comedy night. Holy shit, you do comedy? And this is the first I'm hearing about it? Sorry, sorry. Listening quietly, please proceed. <laughs> so the whole drive up, he's telling me the grossest pickup lines he can oh, think no, of, Max, trying to get me to score. Dumb, bro shit. Anyway, it turned into a competition, which I won. Nobody knows grosser pickup lines than a small town lesbian. <laughs> and the competition turned into the chalkboard? Facts, so, yep. Give it a shot. What's the best pickup line you've got? 
you asked the right person first and foremost, all right? Let's do the let's do the campfire one. The soppy one hit different, bro. I was messing with that. Go ahead. Are you kidding? She gonna mess with this, y'all watch. Cuz you're smoking hot and I want some more. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. That's that's good, right? Cringe. Damn, son. <laughs> Goofy as hell. <laughs> uh, perfect. You're on the board, Max. Yes. Yes, that's a W. That's a W, my butt. That's a W. We should hang out sometime. Uh, let's talk about the family now. You know what I'm saying? Like, Those how the family doing? Those wall over there. Yeah. Is that your family? We got her to laugh. Yep. You feel me? Hey. All six of us. My poor mother. <laughs> Dang, six. I love those goobers. Plus, I'm the oldest, so they have to do what I say. Mm. Dang. The oldest out of six? Dang. Uh, we should hang out sometime, though. You seem like cool so, people. Yeah. I was thinking that we should totally do something in Lakeport sometime. You could show off the local yeah. music scene. We could oh, do hell that. yeah. There's this band, Revenge Horse, that I've been meaning to check out. For sure. Based on that name alone, I'm 100% in. Plus, pretending to be in a Revenge Horse is way cooler than pretending to be in a Misery Cult. <laughs> ha ha. <laughs> Very funny. You, she funny. So, um, ugh, uh, I like to make sure that boundaries get set early. Uh, so, zero pressure. Okay. Either way. For sure. But... Is this a date thing or is this a friend thing? I mean, we can like, you feel me? I, I, like, I, 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 I say it's a date. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't got no problem with with uh with a man, a man, a, 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 a Amanda. You, know what I'm uh, you seem like cool people. You seem like cool people. I made you laugh. You made me laugh a little bit. You feel me? So it's like, yeah, we could. Let's call it a date. Yeah, we can do that. For I'm sure. Kind of definitely thinking a date thing. What you say? Really fucking adorable. Yes. Is that a number? It's a date then. I'm cooking, Chad. Plug. I'm cooking. Holy. I'm cooking, bro. Look at you, Max, doing normal people shit like some kind of healthy, productive member of society. Come on now. Feel? It's like second I, nature, Safi. The last 10 minutes are total blur. But a man. Really now she cool. It, it's the it's the bang yang that's kind of hey. throwing me off. Moses, what's good? Oh, that was a shoot. We almost died. We Yo. didn't almost die. Yeah, Safi saved us. Yep. Yep. That's real. I deserve a medal. <laughs> so what are we doing? The night's young. We should hang out. Just the three of us? Hey, cool with that. That's There's cool. a meteor shower tonight. I'm conducting research, but it could be fun with other people. You should come. Both of you. That's perfect. All we need is... Hold on. <laughs> she's a Drinks? mile a minute tonight. She gets this way when she's in a good mood. I feel that. Safi really cool. She cool people. Courtesy of Madame <laughs> President Mondes. At least until she remembers that I have her credit card. <laughs> she got a whole bottle? Shall we? Oh my gosh. Are we allowed to drink a full bottle? <laughs> oh, I think she brought the bottle along with- Give okay. me the Cliff Notes version of what we're actually here to see. The Cliff Notes version? A bunch of little pieces I of say that a lot. asteroid. From 11 million miles away. This is what I get for introducing you to. Wow. Dang. So should we be worried about this crazy asteroid hitting Earth? <laughs> Not in our lifetime. And it will probably disintegrate before it reaches the surface. All right. Sophie's jacket is so you clean though. 24 hours before the world. I like ends. that jacket. What would you do? Um what I was going to do anyway, probably take a pic. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm documenting Hell yeah. shit. Can you imagine how cool an apocalypse photo set would be? Oh, my God. This again? Nobody would see it. I'm telling you. Come on. Art requires an audience. Otherwise, it's just... Okay, jeez. Agree to disagree. Right, bro. Awful quiet over there, Murph. What if it's just for my own pleasure? Way in? Like, I don't want the audience oh, to see. What if it's just I for me? I wasn't listening. What? Hey, looks like the equipment's working. Eek, why am I not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right now? A uh, blanket burrito would hit. 
because you're a good friend fear missing out you're right this was a terrible idea because you're a good friend because despite your attempts to convince us otherwise you're a really sweet person w and you wanted to spend time with us Aww. <laughs> Oh, I brought you. Oh, no. Figured that was better than passing the bottle around. This is a little vibe, though. I messed with this. Is that a power bear cup? This is the best you could do? I don't work in this building. Don't blame me for the assault. Dog, who pulled out the power? Who pulled out the power bear cup? Mine says, I'm the world's horniest grandma. <laughs> Got a mug, Max. Uh, nerdy and dirty? Actually, vodka? toilet the toilet mug is actually tough that is hard bro you know me a toilet I mug i life. never thought of it i low-key need one of those bro i have some good news uh it's big but i can't tell you what it is you can't tell us you have good news and then, and then i don't want to say us? anything else until everything is finalized so you want us off the drink a little okay well whatever we're celebrating i think it calls for a selfie oh let me i just got this camera and i want to get some good use out of it yo she threw it what should we say y'all see how max threw her dslr camera never said anything about it afterwards she must got them all disposable bro she got another one at the crib or something Yo, what? I've got income. Oh. I'm gonna, you know. I just remember this was from the um. Do wasn't this like the gameplay trailer or something? It was like the reveal trailer or something like that. I remember like a while ago. Good news, huh? You two and your secrets. How you ever hold a conversation with each other is beyond me. Come on now, you know me and Safi, we just, you know what I'm saying? We, we cool people. I'm spirit. dying to know what Dang! Is. All these notifications looking like, what the f huh? huh? Who blowing up my phone? Oh, mom and dad. We're on our way from the airport. All right, I'll meet you there. You left in a hurry. Everything okay? Yeah. Had a great trip. Love you. There are so many tourists now. The money's really transforming Arcadia Bay. You should see the new sign Joyce put up. I'm glad to see that Arcadia Bay is like evolving, bro. Like they're actually like putting some good money in Arcadia Bay and like they're seeing like the upgrades of it. That's cool. We heard about your upcoming exhibition in Cleveland. Would you mind if your mom and I crashed it? Anything fun planned for your birthday this year? Happy birthday, Max. We love you. Calden must be keeping you pretty busy if we can't catch you on your birthday. We're thinking of doing another family vacation this year. When does winter break start for you? We tried calling earlier, Max. We haven't heard from you since your birthday. Dang. Just want to make sure our girl is all right all the way out there. Sorry, I'll try to call more. The school is great, but I don't have as much free time as I thought. But I'm fine. We understand. Any chance we can expect you for Thanksgiving this year? You didn't sound too great over the phone, Max. It was just a sore throat. Promise. Are you sure? Have you thought about talking to someone about what happened to Chloe? We know it was years ago, but you don't want to keep that bottled up, you know? I'm fine, really. Did Mark Jefferson ever say or do anything to you when you were in his class? No, stop worrying, please. It was a cold. We notice things, Max. Anytime we talk about Arcadia or the past, you shut down. We never should have sent you to Blackwell. It's not your fault. It's not yours either. You can always talk to us about anything. We're your parents and we love you, Max. Please take care of yourself. Oh man. That that whole stuff that happened in Arcadia Bay really messed her up though. She really shuts down whenever they talk about it, man. Like look how she handled the situation with Safi, bro. She was really like she was all uppity and then when Safi talked about it, she went like you no know, like her mood went down, bro. It's like the social battery just like depleted, bro. I get it though. I really do. Sometimes you don't want to talk about that type of stuff, bro, but I feel like keeping it bottled up, it just doesn't help. Reggie! Reggie said, I'm so sorry about the broken glass, Max. Please don't let Amanda ban me for life from the snapping turtle. <laughs> Wait, you can message them back. There goes your grade. That's a lot of emojis. <laughs> you can text them back, bro. One, one emoji is plenty, Reggie. Okay, but I wanted to show exactly how sorry I am. I'll factor that in when I plead your case to Amanda. You're the best, Max. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> what they talking about on Cross Talk, man? Hold on. Safi said, the difference of our position will show stars in your window I cannot even imagine was gonna post a full Brooks quote, but it's so damn cold on top of this observatory that I can't remember it. Amanda said, you wouldn't be cold if you'd stay in the snapping turtle. Safi said, Amanda, you can't see a meteor shower from inside a bar. Ashy said, she'd know that if she'd ever left the bar. My little sis calling me out. <laughs> Yasmin said, did you bring the heated gloves I got you? 
Those gloves are currently unaccounted for, so they're lost. They're on a journey of self-discovery. Their interaction is so funny. The mom and daughter interaction is hilarious. Amanda said, almost pissed my pants. Still landed the girl. Excited for my revenge horse date. Oh, she's talking about me? Okay, hello. Melissa said, ooh, who's the girl? And does she know you almost peed yourself? Dorian says, she does now. Ashley said, I wouldn't telegraph to the world that I almost pissed my pants, but that's just me. <laughs> Hold on, Lucas. Lucas said, it's so satisfying to see how far my students can go. Congratulations, Kennedy. I'm so proud of you. Kennedy Barker, youngest recipient of the Stephen Nickleby Award for Best Short Story. Oh my gosh, love to see it. Yasmin said, congratulations, Kennedy. And you too, Professor Calmanero. We're lucky to have you teaching here at Calden. Lucas said, it's an honor, especially during moments like this. Isabel said, congratulations, Kennedy. It's a beautiful story. Lucas said, it truly is. It comes so far from the rough short she workshopped in class. Joey said, I'm I'm sure a big part of how far she's come has to do with your influence. Lucas said, I can't take all the credit. She is a singular and deserving talent. Moses said, that feeling when your friends enthusiastically agree to go stargazing with you on a rooftop in the middle of a Vermont winter <laughs> with the emojis. <laughs> Safi said, hold on there, Moses. Max and I didn't say anything about enthusiastically. Exactly how cold is it supposed to be tonight again? Amanda said, I'd love to join you all if I could. Seems like every year the Geminides come to town. I'm stuck working at the Turtle. Moselle. Ooh, that's a beautiful name. I'm glad you've got friends looking out for you because you know how I worry about my baby boy. Where that code I sent you, mom? See, I love how the mom, the parents are interacting with their children in this. This is, this is a beautiful moment. Jarrell said, wait, the Geminides aren't tonight, are they? I told my girl we'd go watch them. Time for a contingency plan, I guess. <laughs> oh my gosh, Jarrell, you better get on that, bro, before your girl get mad. Okay, enough of being on my phone. Let's enjoy the moment right now. Oh, wait, sour candy, yum. Safi's second favorite oral fixation. <laughs> What's the first oral fixation? Smoking or huh? what are we talking about here? What's going on? Man, I could use some sour candy right now. I, that's the one thing about me, y'all. Y'all gotta know. I really, truly, truly love sour candy, man. Champagne. Dang, Sophie snagged the good stuff from the snapping she turtle. She wanted to make sure we had a good time tonight. I see. Black. What exactly is a comet chaser? Amateur astronomer or fancy cocktail? You decide. Comet Chaser do sound like a drink though, for sure. Everett Observatory. This observatory was made possible through both the generous support of Samuel Everett and the inspiration and vision of the Calden Comet Chasers. The fault, dear Brutus, is not in our stars, but in ourselves. W quote, you feel me? It really makes me want to uh, stargaze right now. Huh? You know? Let me talk to my boy Moses. Moses must be curious about Sophie's good news too. I bet he knows a way to get it out of her. I bet, yeah, let's let's talk to him, let's see what's up. A snapshot, oh, we can take a picture of him. I love how Moses always looks so passionate about his work, even when he's just crunching numbers. Toggle pose, wait, show off. Moses, this is all super cool. Show off a all little. Right, come on, bro, give me, give me a cool pose. Be proud of your work, let me see. What kind of, oh, these shoes are tough. I like those shoes, bro. This your poses, bro? Like, we gotta flick up, bro. Give me a good pose, bro. You... <laughs> okay, okay, look. Let's do casual lean. Casual lean. Hey, Moses. What about casual? Casually lean on the telescope. I might knock it over. J just Pretend. a little... Pretend. Right, just a little cool. Okay, cool. Um, Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay. Plug. Okay, that's... That's hard, that's hard, that's hard. That's a W pick right there. They're gonna love this. They're gonna love this on Crosstalk. Moses Murphy, man of science. <laughs> that's a good pick. That's a tough pick, bro. Talk to me, Moses. I need some info out of you, bro. Hey, Moses. Doesn't some small part of you want to know what Safi's good news is? All right. I think I have an idea. But once we go down this road, we can't turn back. Okay. Um, Tell me. Okay. All right. What the? Heck? Give this to Safi if you can. You'll probably have to trick her into taking it or plant it on her. Oh. Like a prank? No. This has rules. So it's more of a game. Whoever holds the bottle cap has to do whatever you say. Well, within reason. Oh. Moses. I have literally never wanted to play a game more in my entire life. <laughs> you say that now. But Safi has a very loose definition of within reason. 
And she'll come for you next. <laughs> okay. All right. Wish me luck. Cool. All right. Let's see what, what we can do, y'all. <laughs> oh, you mean like talking to someone who has an obvious crush on me? First of all, how dare you? Oh, uh, man. She said, first of all. <laughs> No, nah, Max is so funny, bro. With the candy, yeah, bring the candy. Oh, she's cooking. She's cooking. Find a hiding okay. spot for. Okay. How am I going to plant this on Safi? Ooh, that's a good question. Okay, look, let me tell y'all how we gonna do this, right? I think what we should do. Hold on, what? Who texted my phone? Thanks for making a poor bone weary bartender's night, Amanda. Hold on, let me text my girl back. You're welcome. You're cute. Okay. She's, she is cute though. Like she, she nice. She a nice person. A poor, cute, bone weary bartender. Don't forget that. I never. Not only can she flirt in person, but she can do it over text too. I am a woman of many talents. We'll see if you got good music taste to boot. <laughs> I feel threatened now. <laughs> okay, go enjoy the meteors and don't let Moses freeze. He will try to stay out all night. Before I forget, too late. If you want more dumb jokes, I have a comedy account at the Turtle. Um and uh comedy. No pressure though. Um and uh comedy. Okay, bet. For sure, for sure. Oh, wait. Gwen has something? Let me see. Oh, I had a lovely view tonight. The meteor shower was great too. Oh, her and her wife. Claudia said, really? This is the pic you post? You're supposed to say I'm sweet. Claudia said, that's a given, sweetie, but there were better photos. Gwen said, it's the only pic with you in it. Claudia said, oh, okay, that is sweet. Rati said, I miss you too. Drinks later? Gwen said, if they're on you, sure. <laughs> nah, Gwen seemed like my type of person, bro. I knew she was cool when she was like, she was raving about that four, uh, four work week. <laughs> she said, yes. Fuck yes, even. Snowbank. I need to hide Let me this. See. Could I hide the bottle cap? Would it make it's sense to do it in the snow? Not sure I want to rely on my aim. I'd only get one shot. Okay, or the sour candy, but she's gonna Sophie like. Eats these when she can't slip away for a smoke. It'd be totally normal for me to offer her one and give her a bottle cap instead. Mmm, okay. So are my only options the candy or the snow? Okay, what about Safi's bag? Safi's like bonkers protective of that bag. Usually never lets it out of her sight. But she does seem busy writing right now. Oh, I feel like the sour candy would be tough, right? I don't know. Like, I feel like that would hit. Let me, let me try sour Sophie candy. Safi eats these when she can't slip away for a smoke. It'd be totally normal for me to offer her. Let me do it. Let me do it. Let's 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 do it, bro. I love how she got the power bear mug too. W choice. W choice. Come on. This is going. Nah, this is going to hit. She going she going to hit that. Where is that? Now I've just got the delivery. Oh, okay. Safi. <laughs> she don't know what's about to hit her. Bro, look. She already got the cigarette pack and ashtray set up right next to each other, bro. You know damn well what's about to happen. Hold on. Let me get a snapshot first. Can I get a pick first? Come on! Nice try, Max. Can I get? I'm. Put it down. I'm. Like, got you. Got you. Yup. And I'm posting it too. Ha ha. Your mom's gonna see this one. The elusive Safi, so adept at evading any and all candid photographers, once again remains elusive. And she has the book down. I I got her at the perfect moment too. <laughs> let's see. Safi. Mhm. Mm um. Let's ease into it. How's the writing? Find anything poem -able? poem -able. <laughs> <laughs> The moon? Kind of. poem -able. <laughs> Though I'd hardly be the first. Carl Sandberg called it a friend Carl from Sandberg. Lonesome to talk to. Mm, pretty. I haven't seen a moon this bright outside of Oregon. Mm. Oh, a Max biography nugget. Uh, <laughs> Those are rare. Throwback to when she saw that big bright moon in the sky, bro. That, like double moon. You never really talk about Shoot. why you came here. You already know. Your mom threw me a lifeline. Pulled me out of freelance hell. W mom. One of these days, I'm gonna find out what you're running from, Max Caulfield. That's a promise. Uh, want some candy? <laughs> want a piece of candy? There's a few left. Oh, twist my arm. <laughs> Shit. It's a conspiracy. Yeah. We working in cahoots, boy. Come on, man. 
Come on, Max. Surely you, of all people, would let a girl have her secrets. Uh, no. It's all and fun in the game. The sacred rules are rules, and it's good it? news. Never. You know I'm going to get you back for this, right? For sure. Less thready, more talky. Okay. Right. So, well, I've been shopping around a bunch of my poetry, right? Okay. Like, as a collection. And a publisher made an offer. For real? What? Oh my god, Tommy, Yo, that's incredible. That's what's up. Congratulations. <laughs> Shout out to, yeah, that's a, that's a good moment. That's some great news. That's not just good news, that's great Thank news. Thank you. Nothing signed or anything yet, so I want to keep it under wraps until all the paperwork gets signed. For sure. Understood. Your secret is safe with me. And Moses. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. Yo. Hello? This is Safi? Yes, this is Safi Llewellyn Fayad. Uh, I like how they just came off the tongue like that. Okay, W name. Right back. W name, yes, yeah. So, uh, would you really take pictures of the end of the world? Yeah. Is it crazy I'm kind of shipping her and Safi? I take photos of empty buildings. And Even empty though I'm planet? talking to Amanda? That's next level. Ooh. Okay. I am but a little like messy. Said, nobody is ever going to see them. I mean, that's not the point, bro. Sure, but... Who cares? I take a lot of photos nobody ever sees. Yeah. I want to go out doing something I'm good at. You know? Huh. See how I, I just flipped it right there, bro? No, like, nothing. Just didn't take you as a, it's the journey, not the destination type. That's me for real, bro. Mean, I guess I'm not. It's more like sometimes you reach the destination alone. And that's OK. She's spitting. Y'all not hearing her like like how I'm hearing her. Look at that. She's spitting. What a tale. Wow, I'm gonna love this game, bro. I am so giddy about this game right now. It's ridiculous, bro. And I'm so friend. glad I'm not letting anyone tell me awesome. any oh. other. That's what happens when you take the picture of a moon? Are you okay? That just hot wire something in her, bro. Y yeah. All good. Just dizzy. Maybe the champagne. I think I'm gonna take off. Get some rest. I can give you a ride if you wait a few minutes. No, that's okay. I think a walk will clear my head. I think so. Oh, okay. I thought he had a, a supreme lanyard on him, bro. I'm like, what? What, what, what is that? <laughs> First Moses had the cool shoes on. Now he has the clean lanyard. Dang, bro. All right. I ain't know Moses had motion like that. That's what's up. Okay. What kind of tunes you listen to nowadays? Oh, <sighs> I'm glad Moses invited me out tonight. I can't recall. I'm telling y'all, bro, I'm not turning off no music. We gonna listen to this music, bro, with smiles on our faces. If I get a claim, I get a claim. Who cares, bro? Caledon's I don't care. a beautiful campus, but it's even better when it snows. This is tough, bro. This is hard, bro. Call me crazy. Call me everything I What a perfect night for walking Head home. home. I'll just catch up with Safi tomorrow. 
Dang. Hold on. Amanda is a keen so cultural cool. anthropologist. Whoa, I see. Real quick. Hold on. Amanda comedy. Oh, this is the uh, comedy thing that Amanda was talking about. The two demographics that know every word to Cisco's The Thong Song. 13 year old boys and every lesbian in this New England gay bar. Ben said, Does that make me a lesbian or a 13 year old boy? Reggie said, <laughs> Ashley said, Or sisters who had to listen to this every morning before school started. Best way to start your day. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Hold on, this is from Safi's mom. Uh, good evening, Maxine. And my apologies about the hour. I received an alert from my bank that a purchase in excess of $200 was made at the snapping. Oh, the the bottle. Sophia isn't answering her phone and I was wondering if you had seen her. She's not in trouble. I just wanted to know. Um, no sign of her. Sorry, I haven't seen her in a while. Thank you, Maxine. If you do hear from her, have her call me immediately and remember, she isn't in trouble. Alright, I will keep that in mind. Bro, this song is bumping though. I like this song. It's a little vibey. Oh, cigarette butts. This is from Safi. Safi's chain smoking again. Dude, Damn, son. I wonder what that call was about. Four cigarettes, bro, and one is still lit. Oh nah. Okay, who did this to Mr. Snowman? <laughs> who did this to the snowman, bro? Wow, Safi. What did Mr. Snowman? Oh, that was Safi. Safi knocked off the bro knocked off Snowman's head. All right, she pissed. <laughs> it's a vibe, bro. Exactly I like this. Now I know who's been leaving all that squirrel gore around campus. Ooh, no. Polaroid. Here we go. <laughs> nice. But who planted the bottle cap? And who took the photo? Ooh. That's a good question. That's a good pick, man. You know that's a good pick. Go ahead, snap that. That's gonna be a hard pick, bro. <laughs> Don't get to take a shot like this every yep, day. Yup, go ahead. Zoom wow. in real quick. You're really watching. Boom. <gasps> Dang! You keep dropping the camera, Max. Dang. She going through it. Is that a... Did I peep the nosebleed? This is not a test. Max! No. Nah. I caused this. No. I caused all she's, of this. Yeah, she's cooked, bro. That PTSD is kicking, bro. That trauma. If I see that her nose is bleeding, it's cooked. That's all I gotta say. Matt? It's bleeding, bro. I just peeped it. I hey. just peeped it, bro. Hey, hey, are you Here okay? Here we go again. Here we go. Something's wrong. Yeah. If you having flashbacks, yeah. Hey, come back. Plug. This is a clean jacket, bro. I gotta say that again. Oh, it's Safi. She's still on the phone. There's Safi. She seems she okay. Okay. I feel like I should check on her anyway. Better safe than sorry. Mo bro, Moses texted me? What did Moses say? Sorry, I think Safi went to the Overlook and I want to make sure she's all right. Oh, hang on, I'll join you in a minute? I can't, bro. I can't, bro. I gotta go right now, I gotta go right now. You hear the ominous music? Like, it's obviously bad. Shit! Safi, hang on. Okay, yep, 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 yep. I remember this from the, um, from the gameplay. Reveal trailer, bro. She got shot, bro. Oh, nah, this... Oh, wait. Oh, Safi's fine. Oh, I'm tripping. For a wait. moment, I thought. Didn't she get shot? Am I, am I tripping? I'm pretty sure the, the trailer showed us her getting shot. But I don't remember how she, she got shot, though. That's my thing, bro. Where did she... Yo. Safi. Safi? Hey. You okay? That's how it happened. Oh no. Dude. Uh <laughs> Yo? How though? Like I I wanna know how this happened. 
That's gonna be the main thing about this game, bro. How did she end up getting shot? We literally saw her a second ago walking around on the phone and then she just took a seat and she was gone. What? Here comes the murder mystery, bro. What happened to Safi? I'm trying to piece that together like how how is that possible for real I know that it's gonna get answered later on but like that's like the main the main thing right now I'm thinking about cuz we literally just saw her bro What? <laughs> nah nah so so what is is that was that the first episode Pro you no matter what you choose i know you'll make the right decision yo max it's time wait what 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 is going on here yo it's the picture i it's the actual picture i took of her it's not like a pre-made pic it's an actual picture of her of that I took. Dang. Max over here losing another friend off some goofy stuff, bro. Dang, girl. Welcome to the wall, Safi. Dang. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> nice PJs. What, what, what's she looking for? Damn, Chloe. I thought I lost you. Oh. Again. Oh, lost. again. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. Bro. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. No, Chloe. What's fucking insane is that being able to rewind time has only caused me more problems and more heartbreak. If high school Max could see Dude. the places I've seen. I mean, let me look at the, the Chloe pick first. All those people lived. But you died. Because of me. It's never fair, is it? I miss you so fucking much, Chloe. Oh my god. Okay, okay, yep, 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 yep. That hit, that hit, that hit crazy. Okay. Um, Safi? If I could undo your death, Safi, I'd do it without a second thought. Dang, bro. That's a clean pick, bro. With the power bear mug in the hood. Oh, okay. oh, I should have I should have got the ashtray out the way though, right? Dang, I, I should have zoomed in a little bit more to get the ashtray out. Dang. It's cool though. Uh great diner. Milagros Midwest. Milagros. A Mexican joint in Iowa run by the amazing Francia. Best enchiladas I ever had. She's photographing her uh, her adventures. That's cool. Her name was Chloe. Chloe I number that two. Was a sign. It wasn't. Uh, punk show. The bassist from the Agnostic Femmes named Faith. Agnostic Femmes. Punk band out of Oakland. She was enthusiastic. Dang! Look at the fit with the. Oh, wait, this is a hard, this is a hard fit. She got the guitar, electric guitar with the tattoos too. Okay, okay, I see you. That's hard. I don't care if it makes me absolutely basic. I would 100% retire there. Uh, okay, what if she had a picture of uh, Puerto Lobos? Plum. That would be hard. Nah, that would be tough. Oh, what? That would be a multiverse colliding, bro. Okay, I think we looked at everything on here, right? Okay, I think, yeah, we're Gucci. We're good, we're good. Dang. This 
girl Max can never get no rest. Who is it? Is that Amanda? Oh man. Ah. Dang, she called a couple times. That's it, Max. I'm coming over. Oh, and Safi's mom is texting us too, bro. All right, Amanda said, Max, I just heard about Safi. You okay, hun? No need to respond. I just want to check in. Okay, I lied. I'm worried and a response will help, but I understand. That's it, Max. I'm coming over. Okay, let me see what Moses is talking about. Wait, I think this was the continuation of the text that we were having uh, before. Moses said, hey, uh, Max, where are you? I'm doing my best not to lose my shit and it's not working. Update, went to my lab to think, but still freaking out. Please get back to me when you can. I assume you're also processing what happened, and I get that, but I'm feeling all alone here. Are you okay, Max? Any sign at all would be greatly appreciated right about now. All right, I'm gonna try to get some sleep. Emphasis on try. Hope you're able to do the same. Moses, I'm so sorry I'm just now texting you back. I've been in a fugue state ever since, and the thought of even looking at my phone made me more depressed. I hear you, Max. It's hard enough to deal with this, and harder still thinking I was dealing with it alone. I know, and I'm sorry. You're not alone. Not in this. Not in anything. Thanks, Max. I should try to get a little rest before tomorrow. And if you get the energy to come to campus, come find me. We should talk. Deal. I'll see you tomorrow. Well, it's morning, somehow. Sleep was pretty much non-existent. Imagine you didn't sleep much either? I'm scheduled to meet with Yasmin today, and I'm not sure what to do. Wish me luck, I guess? Uh, and let me see what Yasmin's Fuck. talking about. She went through all of that alone. Oh, no, 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 no. Maxine? Maxine, where are you? I haven't heard from Sophia and I'm starting to worry. Did you tell her I'm not mad about her splurging at the snapping turtle? I know how impulsive she can be. She's not answering her phone and I don't know what to do. Maxine, please, if you hear from her, call me immediately or have her call me. My God, Maxine, I am lost. I am so lost. Oh my gosh, bro. The detectives from the Lakeport Police Department just left. I told them to speak with you. Inshallah, you have more information for them than I can provide. She was my only child. I did everything to protect her and yet still this. This. I'll be in my office today. Maybe work will take my mind off of it. Please come by if you are able. Work did not take my mind off of it. I saw her everywhere I looked. I came home after 45 minutes and slept for 11 hours. Why aren't you answering your phone? Are you angry with me? I would understand, but silence is most painful of all. Grieve however you must, but please don't shut me out. Not now, not like this. I'll be in my office again today. I don't know what else to do. I do not know what else to do. Damn. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh, that's, that's a pain, bro. That's, that just hurts. That hurts me bad. All right, so we got, okay, what did Vin say about it? www.timeless, wait, what is, is that an actual website? Wait, y'all, I Google timeless obits, timeless obituaries. I think that's what it, that's short for, but it's an actual, like, it's an actual website. It's a Life is Strange website, but I think it's broken right now because hella people are, like, on it right now, but it's like an actual website. That's cool. Tyler said, I'm so sorry, dude. Liz said, sending my love. She was an amazing person. Reggie said, are you okay? I wish I'd been there to hear Safi read. Dang. Amanda said, when I started open mic night, I was terrified no one would come. Safi was first to sign up. She read this gorgeous poem honoring a dead friend. She never signed up again. She was like a match. Burned brightly and left as fast as she came. Rip Safi. Wish we'd had you a little longer. Dang. Yara said, rest in peace, Safi. Melissa said, I'm so sorry, Amanda. If you need anything, please give us a call. Vin said, thank you for this. Diamond, shine bright like a diamond. Huh? Diamond said, 24 hours later and still no word about the death of a grad student on campus. A grad student who was the daughter of Calden's president, really? Vanetta said, I know this ain't the same Calden that was voted safest campus in the Northeast. If you need me to come get you, let me know, D. Reggie said, can't believe she's really gone. We literally saw her last night at the turtle. Loretta said, well, if the school isn't going to act, I will. Let me do a little digging and see what turns up. Okay, Loretta, hold on. Get a clue, Loretta. Get a clue. Oh, Gwen, let me see. Sophia was a strong, talented woman with endless potential. She's a loss to this world that I will never forget. My heart goes out to her family. I hope we get some answers soon. Robin said, if we do, it won't be from the cops. They're dragging their feet. Imani said, I can't believe this happened on campus. Jane said, what was she doing out there by herself anyway? Anna said she was too young. Dang, bro. What did Loretta say? Coming in hot from the police scanner. Shots fired on Calden's campus. One person was struck. The person struck was grad student Safi, and she did not survive. Pauline said, oh my God, true crime happening right in your backyard. Anjali said, hey, let's remember this is a real person Loretta probably knows. 
Loretta said, I can't believe this is happening here. Lionel said, Loretta, please call me. Dang, bro. Lucas. Wait, what did Lucas say? I've heard the unfortunate news about the death of our colleague, Safia. I was sadly reminded of a line from my father's book. Death comes for us all on a whim and with no regard for our imagining. I am sorry to all who loved her and could not imagine this. No, you're not alone. Yasmin said, thank you so much for your kind words, Professor Colmanero. Lucas, of course. And if you need anything, I'm here. Izzy said, JC, you're hamming this up. Has some respect. A young woman died. And you're blabbing about you and your daddy? What? Alexa said, it's amazing how cruel people can be when they're able to hide their face. Yeah, that's how I feel about online people too, bro. It's like, bro, you're saying all this stuff because you can. You know what I'm saying? And like, there will be no repercussions from it. Like, maybe like you'll get banned or something like that. But like, no one can actually do anything to you. You know what I'm saying? Unless like you give your ad and something and people are that crazy to go, go find you. Huh? But... You can literally say whatever you want and you just gotta like, you gotta take it, bro. How I deal with it, if people come to me crazy in the comments, bro, you just getting blocked, bro. I don't care. Like, bro, like your words are not going to affect as much as you think your words are affecting me. They're really not, bro. I've been through so much in my life and it's like, if I didn't let that stuff crack me down, bro, what makes you think that some words that you type out is going to affect me, bro? Like, I'm literally just a guy that's chilling, bro. And I'm literally just a guy playing video games and trying to entertain a community of people and, and just chill and vibe with them, bro. That's it, bro. That's it. Trying to stay out of trouble for the most part. You know what I'm saying? So whatever bad words y'all got to say, bro, it is a self-projection of yourself. That's how I look at it, bro. It's definitely self-projecting. Joey said, but it's like your book said, our souls fly on. My heart goes out to you, Lucas. Let me see what Yasmin had to say, though. I hate imagining what Yasmin went through writing this post. Dang. As some already know, the student we lost yesterday was my daughter, Safia. I will continue to serve as president, but I will be grieving. Please respect my privacy during this difficult time. Lucas said, you are incredibly selfless for continuing your work. Safi will be proud. Talia said, please contact the board if you find you're having any difficulties. We're here to help. Livia said, I am so, so sorry. We already miss her. Dang, bro. Is Talia faculty? Because she said contact the board. Is she bored? Or is she just like giving some advice? Like she's just like giving her some tips. Like yo, you should you should, you should really uh, contact the board if you're having any difficulties. Cause I remember when my dad passed away and I had to go back to work, bro. I was having a tough time, bro. But they did not care. Like my job did not care. They wanted an obituary for my. Like they thought I was lying. They wanted a whole obituary of of my dad passing and everything. I'm like. Dang, bro, I can't even grieve in peace because if I, bro, if I take any time off, they're going to fire me, bro. Damn, And I can't, son. like, get my mind right in time. And it, it was just bad, bro. It was just a bad work environment at that time, man. I swear. Shit. Oh. My place is a mess. Oh, dang. Shit, shit, shit. Dang, Max. I'm a mess. <laughs> okay. We gotta, this is a nice spot though. Can't let Amanda see the mess downstairs. Okay. Better change out of my pajamas too. You're absolutely right, let's, oh wait, you got awards? When imposter syndrome rears its head, I like to remind it that I won a fucking international photography award. That's what I like to hear, there you go. Okay, let's get dressed real quick, let me see. All right, I need you in a, where was that one fit that you had on? Oh, nah. Oh, these are the pre-orders. Dang. Okay, I'll work with these. That's fine. Let me see. What do do I like this? It's a little lively. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let, let's do that. Yeah. Outdoor. Let's keep that on. Okay, I like it. No, oh, why did why does it keep putting me in the power bear fit? I'm selecting this one. Now to take care of downstairs. Uh, acceptance letter. Ooh, let me see this. After the last couple of days, I had to reread Yasmin's letter to remind myself what I'm even doing here. Uh, what did she say about you? Let me see. Dear Miss Caulfield, it is with the utmost pleasure on behalf of myself and my esteemed colleagues here at Calden University that I inform you of your selection as the Hellerton Visiting Artist for the coming school year. We have been following your work and your trajectory for quite some time and are honored to have you share your wisdom and light with our students. During your time at our campus, you will be staying at Hellerton House, a rustic and cozy home, a short walk to campus, which has all the modern amenities you require. I imagine you will have many questions, and if so, feel free to reach out day or night at my personal cell. I look forward to working with you and seeing the works you produce under the auspices of our humble university. Cordially, Dr. Yasmin Fayad, President Calden University. Those are some good words, bro. Shout out to Miss Fayad, for real, for real. President of Calden University too, bro and her daughter just passed away. Wow, bro. Poetry books. 
I honestly hoped they'd help me understand Safi better. But now, oh, what's the point? Oh, nah. She had the poetry books to help with the relationship with Safi. That is so sweet, man. Oh, that's so sweet, bro. She, she was trying. Slasher movie poster? The high point of the series. Maybe any series. You can debate me, but... You'd be wrong. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> it looked like Freddy vs. Jason for a minute. Oh, we can go on the laptop? Let me see. Can't begin to imagine how hard this was for her to write. Let alone to keep that professional tone all the way oh. through. Dear Calden community, as your university president, I write to inform you that in light of the recent passing of one of our beloved Calden students, classes and planned special events will be canceled until further notice. This is a difficult decision, and I know many of you were looking forward to the end of term activities for which our campus is famous, and I hope you understand my reasons for doing so. Losing one of our own, whom a number of you knew personally, is not easy, and I want to assure you that grief counselors will be available to you at no cost, should you feel the need. Thank you for your understanding during this trying time. Cordially, Dr. Yasmin Fayad, President Dang, bro. She had to write this to everyone. Oh my gosh, y'all, like, she had to keep this professional, right? Because, like, this is, like, a school, like, but as a mother typing this about your daughter, it's got to be crucial, bro. It's got to be crushing her, like, mentally, emotionally, like, yeah, man. I could tell, I could imagine tears were dropping typing this out. Yasmin has been nothing but supportive throughout my time here. And I owe it to her to make time should she need it. Hello, Maxine. I hope you can forgive me for the more formal tone in my earlier email to faculty, staff, and students. These have been some of the hardest days of my life. And if I'm being completely honest, I feel like I'm adrift. It's a wonder I'm holding it together at all. I know you and a few others were very close with Sophia. And I pray you'll understand if I reach out to you or lean on you for some support in the coming days. Cordially, Dr. Yasmin Fayad. President Calden University for sure. She could do that for sure. This site was mostly bullshit platitudes that were hard to take seriously. Wait, what? Losing a close friend, losing a loved one is among the most heartbreaking things we can experience, but it's important to know that the loss of a close friend can often be just as overwhelming. A true friend can feel like family and their absence and the grief that comes with it deserves the fullness of your care and consider. Wow, this is deep, bro. Holy, okay. Thought about baking these, but that would have required a trip to the store. And that would have required me to leave the house. <laughs> Yo, nah. Es Esme's, Esme's classic no-bake brownies. Let's get this out the way right off the bat. When you're feeling low, eating something healthy is always going to be better than engaging the sweeter impulses. But sometimes, that's exactly what you need. And this recipe has precisely what you're looking for. Okay. <laughs> Star chart. Moses left us here weeks oh. ago. He and Safi were having some debate about astronomy versus astrology. Okay, we got Leo. I wish I could remember what Safi said, but I, oh. I've already forgotten. We got Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpius. Leo, named after the Latin word for lion, represents strength, fearlessness, and loyalty. Virgo, I'm a Virgo. Named after the Latin word for maiden, represents kindness, industriousness, and perfectionism. Sounds about right. Sounds about like me. <laughs> Libra, named after the Latin word for scales, represents justice, equilibrium, and harmony. Scorpius, named after the Latin word for scorpion, represents clairvoyance, passion, and mystery. Mmm, I like that. All right, y'all, we gotta go tidy up this place. It's a little bit dirty. This place is nice, though. Ooh, I wouldn't mind living somewhere here, bro. Police car. Oh, they were—they already been here. Cop investigating Safi's death. Dang. Yeah, they were Sophie's already here, bro. Murder. She kept Moses and I for questioning for hours and hours. Mm. I saw a very suspicious owl. Does that help, officer? <laughs> to-do list. What's on that to-do list? Sophie. Ooh, yeah. That one burns. That one hurts a little, a little too much. Okay, peanut butter. Peanut butter! Mm, grief dinner. It's chunky, though, so it feels like more of a substantial meal. Ah, I feel that. If y'all never had peanut butter for dinner, bro, that's, that's strictly girl dinner right there for sure. That's girl dinner. That's definitely girl dinner, bro. I've had me that dinner a couple times too. It, it isn't like the most like, 
you know, appealing type of dinner, but it will get you full. It will definitely, you know what I'm saying? When 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 food is low in the crib, bro, peanut butter is, is very helpful. Espresso machine. Dang, if this only is fancy. a strong cup of coffee or five could speed me through what I'm feeling right Dang. now. Dang, is that sriracha? Hot sauce. Thank you, hot sauce. You're the only pick me up I've had the last day and change. Dang, okay. Dirty pan. Can we clean this up? I swear I'll clean that one pan eventually. Eventually? Yeah, that we'll understand. You got a dishwasher or something? Like, yeah, look, I think this is a dishwasher. Just I'm put it in the dishwasher. The rest of the house? Not so much. Alright, let's let's go find some other stuff we can clean. Whoa, she has a her own dark room? Wait, 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 before we go down there, before we go down there, wait, wait, let me check to see if we got everything up here first. Picture frames, dang. Pupil and Iris. This baby got me an international photography award. That's and tough. And a spread in National Geographic. Safi. Whoa. Safi got me the frame. Oh, that's sweet. That is a good picture too, Max. Oh my gosh, wooden sculpture? One of the past Hellerton artists made this. Woodwork seems so unforgiving. You have to live with your mistakes. Oh, that's cool, bro. It, it had me thinking the body was like floating for a minute, but it's just like holding on to this, the long staff. Ooh, magazines, anime DVDs. What kind of anime DVDs Moses we got? Moses loves this. Yo. I promised I'd watch, but it's been four months and I don't have the heart to tell him I probably won't. Damn, uh, son. That's, that's wild. Dang. He even left it over your crib too? Thinking that y'all were gonna watch it soon? Magazines. The premier journal for the discerning Gorehound. As soon as I had a semi-permanent address, I renewed my subscription. <laughs> That's so real. Massive plan. Okay, when I said that, uh, you know what I'm saying, I would love to take care of a plan again in, th in this game, this is a massive Legend plan, bro. Legend has it Samson here is older than Hellerton itself. Dang. Polaroid, here we go. Looks like one of the previous artists in residence was also a fan of Neb. Or a Neb hater like Sophie. Dang, look like a hater. Who tore this up? Dang, somebody took that personal. Oh, yeah. Neat, let's clean this up. Dude, how I many think Amanda needs tissues? I've a two ply monument to my sadness. Oh my gosh, today. she was going through it. I feel so bad for Max, y'all. Like, she really went through it, bro. Y'all see how much tissue she had around? Like, hey, man. Depression is a real thing, bro. Depression is a real thing. And I hope all my people, all the people out there that are battling with depression, some sort of depression in some way, shape, or form, bro, I hope that it gets easier, bro. I hope it gets easier, and I hope that y'all are fighting on and kicking depression's ass as the, the best that you can, you know what I'm saying? The best that you can with the help that you have, you feel me? I hope that you have the help that you need, and I hope everything goes well for you in the end, bro. Plug. Horror DVDs. Amanda it's might a lot of horror be down DVDs to watch here. a decapitated head in a bucket wreak havoc, but probably shouldn't assume. This place is nice. I can't even lie to y'all, bro. I'm like, I would love to live here. I know it's warm and cozy in here too, bro. Oh wait, it's like camera? Polaroid camera. Been Ooh. more than a few days since I used this. I'm not exactly in a picture-taking frame of mind. I get that. A bowling alley mascot? Don't I have one? How I have one. How sad is it that this goofy-ass thing reminds me of Safi? Bro, that's like the second time I heard them use goofy-ass. And I think that's the funniest thing to me. Because that's like, that's in my everyday vocabulary, too. Goofy-ass is so funny to me. <laughs> Jane Doe shirt. Memory box. Can you still be welcome in a place you have no desire to go back to? Oh. Good to know Vanessa and Ryan still have my back. No matter what. Vanessa and Ryan, Dad and I took a weekend trip down to the old town and thought you'd get a kick out of this card. We're so excited to hear about how you're settling in at Calden. We knew you could accomplish anything you set your mind to. And it sounds like we weren't wrong. Love, Mom and Dad. Oh. Sometimes. When I close my eyes, I still see her lying on that bathroom floor. Okay, a former student gunned down in bathroom by Prescott Prodigy. Tragic murder reveals serial killer among Blackwell Academy staff. Chloe Price, 19, former student at Arcadia Bay's Blackwell Academy, was the fatal victim of a senseless act of violence this past week. I love how they just called Nathan a Prescott Prodigy. 
it's like bro he murdered somebody bro use his name like don't call him a prodigy bro like that's not that's not what prodigies do bro they be trying to cover up anything to make the prescott's look good bro i promise y'all that go ahead and clean this up though man oh the journal october what's the point of keeping track hey the funeral was today it felt like the whole town came it was a beautiful service you would have hated it i hated it storm is gone everybody's safe it's like it never happened it never happened i started a new journal because the old one is full of lies now wow she got rid of the old journal y'all i can feel the power underneath my skin if i wanted to i could go back and see you again maybe i will maybe i'll break the world again you asked me to save everything else and let you go so that's what i did fuck you i miss you damn son Whoa. October 14th, Long Beach, California. Autumn smells different here. I'm sitting beneath palm trees, but I can still feel the changing of the seasons. Back at home, it's probably already cold at night. I can't imagine that here. I know LA was yours and Rachel's place. I hope you don't mind that I'm here instead or that your mom gave me your old truck. That thing is such a piece of shit. I wonder what you guys would have done if you ever made it here. You deserved everything let alone making it past your 19th birthday. It's selfish of me, but I'm glad I got you to myself for the short amount of time that I did. I'm fine being selfish. This is gonna, this is gonna hurt, this is gonna hurt, okay. Oh, no, 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 not, not Joyce's, not Joyce's famous pancakes, bruh. This town I'm in is so tiny, it doesn't even have a post office. It looks like one of those places you'd expect to have, like, the world's biggest soup spoon or whatever, but there's just one spotlight in one diner. I can see the spotlight from the diner. I used to think Arcadia Bay was tiny. Shows you where hubris can get you. Oh, no, bro. This group of college kids passed through got all excited when they saw my camera, and I ended up getting some really great shots. I gave most of the photos away, though. One of the students tried to pick me up, I think, but I pretended not to notice. You would have called me clueless, and you'd be right. Dude. Eight pages of this? <laughs> May 15th. This book is dusty. I found it after two days of looking. This is what I get for keeping my shit in storage. The letter from Calden made me think about school, which makes me think of you, which made me think about this book. When I met Yasmin Fayad at my show in Boston, I had no idea she was the president of a prestigious liberal arts college. She was just some hot older lady who seemed to really want to be my friend. The artists in residence lodgings were described as a cottage in the onboarding materials, but it's the size of my last three apartments combined. It'd be a great place to bring friends over, if I had any. Dang. September 20th, picture it. I'm sitting in President Fayad's office on my first day, and in comes this girl in acid wash jeans and a Dolce & Gabbana <laughs> jacket. She says hi to me like we've been friends for years, reaches over the president's desk and snags her keys and announces she's taking the car in her too. We went and got ice cream in her mom's Porsche. Oh right, she's Yasmin Fayad's daughter, Safi Llewellyn Fayad, a grad student at Calden. She declared Rocky Road the best ice cream of all time and told me the jeans were an experiment that wasn't really working. That was almost a month ago, and I see her almost every day now. We're friends. I guess it's been a while. Dang. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, bro. Max is such a great artist, bro. The drawings are insane. I've been peeping it, like, these past couple pages. I've been peeping these drawings, bro. Her and Sean would definitely, you know what I'm saying? They'd be great friends for sure. November 5th. Did I mention that part of the Calden Artists in Residence deal is seminars? Like, teaching lectures and students coming to them and learning in a hall with slides? I tried to tell Yasmin that I don't have any teaching experience. But what was I supposed to say? Sorry, my only photography class was the two months in senior year. I was infatuated with a hot teacher who turned out to be a psychotic pervert and murderer who kidnapped me to his secret bunker. I can't even get through a lesson plan without thinking about Jefferson. Dang. Despite that, people seem to like the seminars. There's a couple students in particular that I think have a lot of potential. Is this a teacher emotion? Dang, look at that picture, bro. Oh my gosh. December 4th, Safi's always encouraging me to do normal people stuff. And today is panned out. Cause I've got a date, motherfuckers. I was a little scared. I've seen Amanda make a guy cry and give him a free beer after, but we clicked. Hard, I think. Safi did ask about you earlier, but I sidestepped that combo like a wild bear. Talking about the dead is a mood killer. I have a feeling she'll bring it up again. And it's kind of crazy because now Safi's passed away and now she has to talk about another dead person. And it's like, it just adds on to the pile, huh? Jeez. Oh, 
know this girl, bro. This girl right here. Max, 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 you will do it for me every time. Like, I, I will always feel for you, Max. I will always feel for Max, bro. This was a teenager going through stuff like this, bro. Like, kids, like I said, bro, I be feeling bad for kids who be going through this type of trauma. And I know a lot of people, especially people who have watched me, have gone through some childhood trauma too, bro. And it's like, oh, man, I'm here for y'all, bro. I'm, I really am. I wish I could hug every single one of y'all that has gone through some things in your past or is, like, currently going through something, bro. Like, oh, man. <laughs> tough, man. Tough game. Tough game. Whoa. Okay. No, we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. I just had a moment. We're dragging Amanda down traumatic memory Ooh. lane. Best to get this out of sight. Oh, that brought that brought the tears, man. Tear jerker. Tear jerker, bro. It's always the memory boxes, though. Oh, better clean those up too. It's like everywhere I look, I'm reminded of her, bro. Where are the pictures at, bro? Where were they? <sighs> better get these tidied up too, before Amanda gets here. Amanda's at the door. I hope she isn't mad that I ignored her calls. Oh, okay, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't even get a chance to go into the dark room. I'm here. Not sure if the doorbell works. Uh, okay, one second. I gotta see what's in the dark room. I just gotta see what's in the dark room real quick. Hold on, hold on. Amanda can wait real quick. Dude, she has her own dark room. That is so dope, bro. This, I feel like this is like a photographer's dream. weather we're having out here, but... Probably nicer indoors. <laughs> You're right. One second, one second, one second, one second, my lady. Hold on. Just so you know, Max, the food I brought is getting cold. Like, really, really cold. Did you say food? Okay, wait, one second. Hold on. The original award got damaged in one of my moves, but this article reminds me that winning wasn't a dream. Oh, that's so sweet, man. It's like going back down memory lane with with max y'all it's so crazy because a lot of y'all have waited years to get another game with max bro i waited like only a couple months <laughs> like i'm not even gonna lie bro i've waited like a couple months bro i started my my life is strange like number one the first life is strange playthrough i think i started in like march maybe so it hasn't been that long bro it's only been like a few months <laughs> this is crazy to me vintage camera Shutterbud 420's YouTube tutorial made fixing you seem so much easier. Shutterbug 420. Is that an actual YouTube channel? I have to I have to look it up, bro. Wait, y'all, Shutterbud 420 is an actual YouTube channel. It's literally someone fixing a vintage camera. And the profile picture is Warren, bro. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's a picture of Warren. That is so crazy. Every time I give a workshop. Some student still feels it's not real photography if it's digital. Oh my gosh. How do how do my photographers feel about that, bro? <laughs> is that a, is that like an actual argument with photographers? Like y'all don't believe that digital digital cameras is an actual photography? So y'all stick with the vintage cameras or something? That's good. <laughs> Hey man, that is something I have com no complete knowledge about. Safi, my huh? I mean not Safi, Amanda, my hey, fault. Oh, I can't I can't mess that up. Oh my gosh. Welcome to hell. <laughs> oh, honey. We're doing oh, dramatic goth kid food grief. Food go bigger, go home, I always say. That look good. Okay, she brought, okay. She's really gone, Amanda. Sophie was here two days ago. And now- I know, Max. I know. Why would anybody want to- I mean, she was just- Oh my god. I appreciate you checking in on me. You didn't have to. Oh, I 100% did. Nobody's seen you for two days. I'll begrudgingly admit, it is nice to see a friendly face. A friendly face. With food. Homegrown salad and homemade hey, focaccia. you a friend with food. You always Damn. welcome to the crib. Okay, then. I would have been happy with old Halloween candy and a Pop-Tart. <laughs> Full disclosure, I don't exactly have the biggest of appetites right now. Really? Eating always makes me feel better. 
never encountered a mood that couldn't be improved by demolishing an entire pizza solo. You just wait till I'm feeling better. I could eat you under the table. Huh? <laughs> Wowzers. <laughs> That's not what I meant. You must have not heard it. You must not have heard it before. What? It's a common turn of phrase. You're the one making it dirty. I, I <laughs> oh, so you're just going to tweet through it then. <laughs> I won't be speaking further without my lawyer present. Uh, <laughs> nah, Max. <laughs> You need to eat, Max. Yeah. The stuff that makes you feel close to normal again is usually what you need the most. Mmm. Whoa. I haven't seen one of these since I was like 10. That Polaroid. I would have figured instant cameras were a professional photography no-no. I like them. Always have. I like Polaroids so, too. I don't know. Tactile. Looking through the viewfinder, holding the photo in your hands, it feels more real. Mm. Another way to make you feel normal again? Taking a picture of your friend Amanda. Mm. The tongue? <laughs> Yeah, we... I know you asked me out. But honestly... You've got a lot on your plate. Emotionally. Wait, hold on, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, wait, Amanda! I can handle it. I've dealt with tough shit before. Right, this, you know what but I'm I can't handle it. And it's not what either of us needs. At least, not right now. That's fair. Trust she, me. She, she don't want the baggage that comes with me. That's all. That I get it. 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 At least she didn't like, dang, bro. That's kind of crazy. How about that photo? I don't want to take your photo no more. Get the fuck out of my grill. That's what I'm talking about. What? I can't believe she's making me do this. Bro, I gotta take a picture. How should I pose for Caledon's illustrious artist in residence? Silly, I guess. Show I me can't your really take a picture goofy either. side. She just, she <laughs> low-key friends on me, gang. Nice. She low-key friends on me. And she, and then she asked for me to take double exposure. What's that mean? Oh! Whoa! Wait, that's hard. That kind of that's kind of messing up my, with my with my vision though. You feel me? Let me go ahead and post that though. That look cool. Let me see if anybody on cross talk like that. The face of someone who knew how to cheer me up today with some homemade grub. Yeah, and the, and the one that really friends on me as well too, bro. At a time like this, then you mess with the double exposure. Talk to me. That's something different. That's something new. How about another one? Different pose this time. I'm gonna have to charge you for okay. this. Okay. I'm charging you. Why not? So she gonna come here, bring me food, then friends on mm. me, then make me take pictures of her for the free ski? Bro, what? Oh, shit. Sorry. It's Safi's mom. Right, I got um, stuff to do. Just, I got business. Just a sec, okay? What the heck, Amanda? What the f- I think we should be friends. All right, bro, like, I get it, but can you leave now? Like, dang. Hi, Yasmin. Hi. Hi, Maxine. How are you holding up? Uh, there's no graceful way to answer that question. Not without lying. I get that. I get that. Have you ever dealt with loss like this? Ooh, ooh, um, losing a friend, losing a friend and losing a daughter, I don't know, I feel like, I feel like it, that's a different type of pain though, I don't know, like losing someone that was like actually a part of you, nah, nah, not like yours, I'm Nothing gonna say not like, like yours, what you've experienced. I just feel like that, that's just two different no. types of experiences. Inshallah you never have to. Mmm. 
wanted to talk to you face to face, uh, if possible. Doing this over the phone feels so federal. Of yeah. course. Yeah, we, we can do this face to face. Um, I can come by today. I'll be in my office all day. Just let Vin know when you arrive. Everything okay? Not sure. I need to head to campus to meet with her. I can't oh, thank I you enough for coming by, thing. Amanda. Psh, it's what you do. This is the one thing that brightened your mood today. Mm. Aside from me. Huh? Come on. I'll walk with you. I mean... I guess? Huh? <laughs> Plug! This is such a cool campus, bro. Dang. They ice skating on the lake and stuff? Look at that. This reminds me of, like some Hogwarts stuff. Yasmin's office is in the old administration building. <laughs> well, time to see if these jokers burn down the turtle in my absence. <laughs> Will I see you later? You know where to find me. After she Fuck me. <laughs> Better head to the admin Dang, building. Yes, Max. Man's expecting me. I'm trying to figure out why she would say that, but it's like, I don't know, bro. Like, you do realize she just friend zoned us, Max. She don't want us. <laughs> she just, you know, she just want to be friends. That's it. It's okay, Max. If she doesn't want to take you as you are, then she's going to have to watch you as you go, huh? right? Come on now. Damn it. Blow me, box. Damn, Reggie. I wonder what's got Reggie so pissed That's off. That's good, bro. Oh, he's smoking that pen. I see that. What is that? Puzzle box? Shit's all yours if you want it. What kind of puzzle box is this? <laughs> You skipped my workshop? How are you holding up? What's this puzzle box? So, what's this about? It's an Abraxas puzzle box. It's got goodies inside, but only for those who can open it. Aren't you a member? Why all the arcane bullshit? Ah, fake member. Look Sorry. at him. Society secret. I can tell you that it's meant to test a key Abraxas virtue. The eye for detail. Oh, okay. All Whatever seen. That means. You want to give it a shot? Let me do it. Let me cook real quick. Hold on. Founder statue. This is supposed to be that statue over there, right? The founder statue? Yeah, I, I think so. Where's his other bird? There should be two. Huh? Oh, I didn't even notice that. Interesting, okay. Oh! Maybe this is supposed to be Thomas Caledon's missing crow. Is that... wax around it? Hey, do you have a lighter? Yeah? Why? What are you thinking? Observe. Yo? Yo, nah, Max is so smart. <laughs> what? Okay, so yeah, thing goes right here. And a there's a box in a box. Test. Of course. They got jokes. Oh hell no! It it's your headache now. <laughs> Are you sure? Really? Good riddance. It's probably got like. I don't know, bro. What if we got bread in it, like money in it and stuff, bro? You know what I'm saying? You don't want to try it? Uh, how are you holding up? I mean, I saw you holding up. Are you holding up okay? Me? I, I don't know. I, I didn't really know Safi. 
Seems kind of weird to be fucked up about it. Mm. Seems like there's a butt coming. I mean... I guess I'm fucked up about it anyways. <laughs> kind of seems like the whole campus is. Yeah, like the whole campus just went... Just did like a whole pause, bro. They did a pause on everything. You skipped my workshop. I missed you in workshop last week. I'm trying not to take it personally. Yeah. You saw my last shoot. It was dog shit. It was rough, but it was honest. Mm. You're a natural, whether you like it or not. Did she just... You think so? That sounded like a quote. Shit. <laughs> I've never been a natural before. All right. Catch you later, Reggie. I still need to meet with Yasmin. Okay. Can't put it off forever. W. Reggie, though. I mess with Reggie. Wait, what's over here? Yasmin sounded like she really wanted to talk. Okay, yeah, we gonna get there, but let me see what, what else we got over here. Origami flower? Oh. This is like one of the... This is cool. Oh, wait. It says... Unfold me. Oh my gosh, can I... Unfold me? I might not be able to fold it back. Let's do it. Let's do it. Plug! So unfold it. Read? Where is this going? Some will not be understood. Unfold, okay? I see. It's a haiku. Oh. I wonder who made this. All things are fleeting. Some will not be understood until they are gone. Oh, okay. W haiku. Hold up. Loretta? Oh, I Sorry. seen her in the uh, in the living trailer. Living Wait a minute. That's Loretta something. Seen her in a few of my workshops. Journalism major, I think. Oh. Doesn't look like she's getting the scoop she wanted. Okay. I guess we'll meet her later on. Fine arts building. Let's go. Let's get it, y'all. I'm not even sure if I need to be to here. admin to see Yasmin soon. Okay. <laughs> oh. It's really nice to have something small to laugh at. Actually, Amanda comedy. Amanda said, King Arthur to the Knights of the Round Table. Men, we ride at dawn. Knights cheering. King Arthur opens his eyes in bed. The sun is out. Okay, well, we ride at 10 30. <laughs> King Arthur leisurely peruses the castle breakfast bar. I know what I said. Brian, we ride when we ride. <laughs> Historically accurate, I'm sure. <laughs> Was this supposed to be the spot I needed to be? Um, I kind of want to see what's in here. This is a nice spot. Oh my gosh. Wait, okay, hold on. Coffee bar. Oh, you can order at the coffee bar? Wait a minute. Tea or coffee? Uh, let's do some coffee. Hey, uh, black coffee? Black coffee? Sure thing. Ooh. Okay, that's cool. We got ourselves a little coffee. How do y'all drink y'all coffees? Y'all like, like the people that drink coffee? That are watching this right now, do y'all drink your coffee I black wish you or what? Come back to Arcadia Bay. Push me You're the to the floor, boy, show me how to I haven't stayed in one place this long since. Well, it's been a while. I almost forgot what belonging feels like. And now, this. Now, Sophie. I should have known better than to hope things would be different. Sometimes, it feels like I'm cursed. No matter how fast and far I run, the past is still That's cool. gonna find me. That's a cool sculpture right there, bro. Oh. Walking with ghosts, Max Caulfield. I wanna go check that out. Oh, snap. Yeah, we gotta go check out that, uh, that picture. Dang! Oh my gosh, that was hard. Okay, okay, I'm messing with the I'm messing with the soundtrack, bro. I like it. I like it. That was cool. Okay, I need to go check out that picture though. Oh wait, is this Amanda Amanda's painting? Our Amanda? All right, 
Clearly, I'm not the only artist on this campus with Amanda on the brain. Oh, no, nah, this somebody, somebody did a, a portrait of Amanda. Okay, this is somebody else's work. So what they're telling me is Amanda got hoes. All right, here's my area, the max area over here. Ugh, I can't even look at this right now. My old stuff is just cringe. <laughs> I think that's hard. I don't know, bro. I think it's just me, like, not really knowing about photography for real. But I just admire anything. Like, what? Like, who thinks of this? What's that saying? If you're going through hell, keep going. Yo. Jonah. That's a hard one, bro. Order up. Took like, these are right good pieces. I left Arcadia Bay. I think that's the most alone I've ever felt. Dang. Order up. It's a good area, bro. But like, why they got my girl Max like hiding over here, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? Put her, put her work out so in the open so everyone can see. People gotta like walk over here into this dark area, and it's like they're covered. Like the walls are like, you know what I'm saying? Like her art is just covered, bro. It just feels very, very boxed in. I should go to the admin building before Yasmin thinks I'm avoiding her. We'll get there. Hold on. Let me. You know what I'm saying? All right. Let's go. Let's get into the admin building. And see what's up with Yasmin, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully she good. Plug. Dang, bruh. Crosstalk okay. got something new for me? Yasmin's office is down the hall. Okay, hold on. Before we do that. Uh, Loretta said, I will be reporting on Safi Fayad's death as details emerge. If you know her, my DMs are open. Pauline. Pauline said, can't wait for your first ep in this arc. Already hooked. That's crazy how, like, this is like, I don't know, bro. Like, people are acting like this is, like, some true crime. Like, oh, my gosh. Like, oh, the next episode. On, like, this is, like, an actual person. Somebody lost their daughter, bro. Like, they're treating this like it's just some... I don't know. I, th I find it very weird, in my opinion. Diamond, now, where are you going with this, Loretta? Gwen, email me, and we'll discuss the appropriateness of this. Thank you. Thank Like, at least I'm not the only one who thinks this is, like, kind of, like, I don't know. Like, this is a little too much. I appreciate the concern, but Get a Clue is a personal project, not a course assignment. Dang. Wait, Martin, I'm writing something and it comes from a personal place, but it also terrifies me. Is it even worth finishing? Miguel said, hell yes. Martin said, shut up. I already know your opinion. Miguel said, anything about me should be published. Martin said, once again, the poem's not about you. It includes you, but it's not about you. Miguel said, sure. Alexa said, take a chance. Professor Calmanero is always saying you're going in the right direction if it takes you to unexpected places. Reggie said, dude, fuck that guy. Tim said, not if it risks your grades. Martin said, it's personal to me. That's more important. Tim said, you say that now. Let me go ahead and find where's... Yeah. Whoa. What? I thought you were Jefferson for a minute. I'm like, what are you doing here? What's this? It's a very businessy uh, library we got here. This is a little chill spot. Okay, I'll mess with this. It's a nice little spot y'all got going over here. Bust. Read. Never met the woman herself, but her bust feels like an old friend somehow. Mmm, okay, okay. Shout out to Gretchen Kostov, you know what I'm saying, class of 1964. Member of Calden University's first co-ed class, Gretchen pioneered the Calden Women's Equality League, the Calden Caller, and other initiatives that continue making Calden a great place for students to this day. Shout out to Gretchen Kostov, for real. Got some recommended reads here. Guess everyone's too literary for YA these days. Cowards. Cowards absolutely cowards yo i got a question y'all see like the little moon symbol that's under the uh the triangle button bro like what is that somebody left their spot open here what kind of book y'all read self-publishing before it was cool who are you maya okada okay shout out to maya okada i love seeing all the the women's accomplishments that they've shown in this game so far like there's been a lot that we have read so far bro just shout out to women in general bro it's like Dang, they really, you know what I'm saying? Y'all really doing y'all thing, bro. And I, and I love it. I love to see that. Right, Safi boy? Okay, of course, of course. Gotta write something. Gotta put my two cents in, bro. I feel like it wouldn't be right if I didn't write something. Let me pick what to say. Can I pick what to say on there? Or is she gonna... Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for everything. It's a good one. Love Max. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think I said the most on mine, so 
I just warned up everybody on that board. All right, what we got going? Is this the is this the way to the office? I'm, I'm kind of lost. Excuse me, sir. Oh, this is Vin. Oh, let me speak to bro. Howdy, Vin. Howdy. <laughs> let me guess. She texted you to come see her. Yeah. I keep telling her to send all comms through me, but sometimes she goes rogue. How dare she use her phone without your permission? Right, you sound like you secretary. You don't got that authority over her? You think this is an easy gig? Kahuna's got a social calendar like a TikTok influencer. <laughs> I'm sorry. Kahuna? That's borderline adorable. Dang. Listen. I'm I'm really sorry about Safi. Thanks. Me too. She and I had our issues, but she was an amazing person and we're all gonna That's not her. something you would say while investigation is going on. I'm just saying, bro. What, the hell? what kind of issues? Issues? What could the two of you have to fight about? Right. Clock them, clock them, Max. I got between Safi and her mom constantly. Could you blame her for hating my ass? Oh. It's good you're here. She's... Well, she's about like you'd guess. I don't know what I can do. Are you kidding? She's obsessed with you. I I'm a little jealous, actually. See... I only like favoritism when I'm the one who's favored. Why does that not surprise me? Like, that just sounds like you, bro. <laughs> She's got somebody with her now, so it'll be a few. Or if you're dying for stimulation, I've got a package waiting for me down the hall. You're welcome to get it for me. Wow. Does your beneficence know no bounds? <laughs> Fuck! You gotta be kidding me. Sounds like someone else needs my help. Dang, there's a lot of stuff going on in this space, bro. What's Have going fun. on here? Okay, so we got main objective, speak to Gwen, help Vin find the package. Okay. Wasn't there like a mail room somewhere? I think I, I think I saw a mail room. Was it in here? Okay, yeah. I think this must have the package Vin was worried about. I could bring it to him. Yeah, let me get the package. And then I'll go check on Gwen. See what they're uh -huh. doing. There we go. Okay. Cool. Now let's talk to Gwen. I think I saw Gwen right here. I was, yeah. Gwen. Fine. It's great to meet Gwen. I missed the tattoo on the neck too. That's tough. That's tough. Gwen? That's tough. All good? Uh, Max. I, uh, so I'm a hugger. Um, Let's hug. Come on, let's Are do you it. A hugger. Yeah, yeah. Hug away. Come on. World champion hugger. I love hugging, bro. Fact. Hugging is is, a, Bring it is in. awesome. I feel like more people need to do that. Like we need more huggers in this world. She's tatted up. I see the arm tats too. God, I didn't realize how bad I needed that. <laughs> I couldn't just stand there. You look like you were walking around in a trance. That's pretty much how I feel. Is there anything you need or that I can do for you? Actually, I was hoping to give you a hand. You sounded like you could use it. Oh, right. I came in here to pick up a book, but lo and behold, some genius locked it up. Mm. Oh, hey, you're like the uh, breaking and entering queen, right? <laughs> Who told you all that info? So that's what everybody thinks of me? <laughs> who told you all that later? info, Gwen? Bad reputation, twins. <laughs> okay. Um, bad reputation, twins. Oh, no. Nah, no, nah, they funny. <laughs> uh, let me see. Let me see what we can do here. Expensive display, cheap lock. You love to see it. Anything skinny and curved ought to do the trick. Okay, um... In your wheelhouse? Definitely. 
I just need to find the right tool. I was thinking like this this Maybe table is very I empty, so I might be that able to use it. That pen looks like the right size for Gwen's lock, but it needs more of a curve in it. Okay, so we can't use that. Dang, who would have a curve? Would there be anything in here that I could use? Oh, scissors. Those are too thick to pick that lock in the library. Okay. Is it um. weird that I know that at a glance? <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Okay, I don't think there's anything in here. What about in here? Anything? Oh, wait. A spoon? That spoon got a little curve to it. Oh, huh? imagine using a spoon to break into something. If if Max didn't pull this off, dude, she could break into anything. Bro, you breaking into this locked cabinet with a spoon? I gotta see this work. Hold on. Hold on now. You might feel a slight pinch. Holy shit! You did it! You're a lifesaver. What? Yeah, I probably should have figured that out myself. What? But uh, hey, what can you do? We're all a touch fucked at the moment. <laughs> Yo. What's the book though? Like why what, what made you I hope the book was worth all that, that trouble? Book? What is it? Oh, it's an old mystery novel. It's the author's debut, actually. Kind of random, I know. <laughs> okay. Did Safi ever tell you about the manuscript she was working on? Uh, keep Safi's secret? Mention the book details? Oh, I'm gonna keep... I don't know, bro. I don't know. I'm gonna keep it a secret. I'm gonna keep it a secret. I knew she wanted to write a book someday. She really wanted me to keep that on the down low, so she ever got the I'm going to respect that. Why? Oh, no particular reason. Just hoping we have plenty to remember her by. A legacy, you know? Mm. That tattoo is Thanks tough. Again it looks real. for the help. And don't be a stranger, okay? My door is always open. Thanks. Shout out to Gwen. You too. All right, real. All right, let's go get that package back to Mr. Vin right here and then talk to... Oh, wait. Oh, she was talking to Moses? Hey, Max. Moses, Oh, I... no. Yasmin's waiting for you. Are you good? Are you okay? I've been... Can it wait? I'm oh. like... A husk right now. I. I need a minute. It looks like his soul just left his yeah, body, bro. Sure. Meet me in the Fab Cafe. Grab a hot chocolate, and I'll find you when I'm done. I can do that. Hmm. What about the package, though? The package. I am telling you to do your job. You're a parent, Chief Banks. Surely you... Oh. Of course. Yes. Please, anything you learn. All right, well, for the people that found the package, yes. make sure you get the package first. Then you do... Goodbye. Yeah, okay? Then you do all that. That was the Lakeport Police Chief. Overconfident and underqualified. Mm. Uh, the police are useless. I'm just gonna let you know that Sounds from Sounds like the cops aren't being very helpful. Yeah. Can't say I'm surprised. Yes. Well, they're the only thing at my disposal. Let me ask you something. You look like a president, though. Be honest with me. Safi and I weren't always so close. Things used to be difficult. Did she tell you that? Mm, not that I recall. But yeah, family's like that, though. It gets no, like that. But family is always complicated, isn't it? Who has a perfect relationship with their mom? Well, not Safi. Not always. Mm. So, what's your question? Mm. 
Despite everything they have found, the police have still not ruled out suicide as the cause of death. What? Was there a weapon at the scene? Maxine, you and Safia were friends. She told you things she wouldn't tell me. Is there any reason to think she may have taken her own life? No. No, no. What? No. Safi would never mm -mm. have hurt herself. Not Safi. Or anybody else. Mm -mm. I think she was low-key murder, bro. Like somebody killed That's her. That's what I believe as well. But sometimes the people closest to us are capable of hiding their own pain. She was fine the last I saw her. She was excited about the future. That's really true, though. You really don't know what people are going through, bro. That's how I will choose to remember her. Happy and hopeful. Mm. I'm sorry. I wish I could have done more. You've done enough, Maxine. Thank you. Real. W. Max. Oh, um, before you go, we need a picture of Safia yeah, for the memorial wallpaper. materials. Would you mind taking a look and choosing your favorite? Sure. Okay, uh, pick a photo for the program. Pick one photo to capture Safi? That's a tough ask. Let me see what we got. Safi loved Lazy uh, Sunday Afternoons. She posted. Safi knew how to be serious when uh, she needed to, but she was okay. just... Such a dark. These are good candies, bro. Whenever she spoke, you just couldn't help but want to listen. So, bro, Safi is so pretty, y'all. Oh, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she just got that face card. All right. I think I'm going to do, um, I want, I want one of her smiling. She got to have that drink ski with her. Get the drink ski going, y'all. Need Safi that. Safi was more than just a poet. I want people yeah, to remember that. She was, a, she was a very good time, bro. She was a good friend. Well, very fun. I did the best I could. Guess I should go find Moses. Oh, okay. Wait, let me check around. Business card? Yasmin is following the case really closely. Ooh. Too bad they haven't found anything. Thorough Wish preparations here, as well. Papers? Yasmin got to see Safi's early drafts? That's a rare privilege. Wow. Mom, take a look if you get the chance. No rush, just messing around and trying to get a fix on my feelings. Let me know what you think. Love you. Oh, okay. So, like, it wasn't... They were on and off with their relationship. Like, she really wanted her mom involved with her, uh, her drafts, bro. bro. It says, we slept the stars. We melted wax women. Icarus need not be mentioned. It's less about how close you get to the sun and more about the heat of consumption. I dream of mangled books, Frankensteinian, sp sphinx-like, head of a woman on the body of a beast. On the first page, she leaves home. In the unprintable epilogue, she returns to the ground. Mmm. Snap on that one. Got a snap. Award photo. Yasmin was so proud of Safi. Was this the wallpaper? Dang. Oh my goodness. Look at that trophy, too. Let me see if I can give Vin that package still. Let me see if that's possible. She busy. I get it. Dang, she look at her. Whoa, y'all see her degrees up there? What? Plug. Okay. All right, so I you can give Moses. him this package. Okay. He's waiting for me in the fact. Here you go. Saved you the trip. <laughs> What's this? Uh, don't tell me we're becoming friends. All right, then. Okay, buddy. Or more than friends? Dang, they, <laughs> They really turned Max into a flirt in this game. Hold on. All right. Settle down. You just caught me in a generous right. mood. You caught me on an on a okay day. <laughs> Not a bad day. It's, it's an okay day, though. All right. What do you want? What do I want? Sure. Nothing's free. At least, not if you're smart. So, what do you want? Nothing now, but you'll owe me. Mm. One favor, delivered on demand. Mm. You drive a hard bargain, Caulfield. But I like it. <laughs> You're full of surprises. 
don't look at my girl Max like that. Come on now, that, that's a, that's still a child to me. You feel me? Like, hey, you better you better calm your hormones. What's going on with you, bro? Look, y'all. Now it's to the point where Max has telekinesis, bro. Her and Daniel would be best friends, cause there's no way she's using her brain to make this marker float, bro. All right, can I get out this way? Is this like a way out? Exit to North Quad. I think North Quad is outside. Yeah, it is. Okay. Bet. Where is the fab? Where is that map at? Hold on. Dang, I came in. What the? F um. Fab. Oh, Fab is the Fine Arts Building. Oh. Okay. Yep. See. Yep. I'm a fake photographer, bro. I don't even know what a Fab stands for. My fault. <laughs> I wonder if Moses has gotten his hot chocolate yet. And I wonder if he got me one. Oh snap! Hold on, Gwen. What's good, Gwen? I told you. Don't contact me on this phone. And texts only, no calls. Hmm. That's this sounds never a interesting. Good time, bro. Well, I'm I'm sure the police know that already, even if I understand that, but did they find anything? Interesting call? Oh uh, Loretta. That's a good fit too! Jeez. You scared the hell out of me. Okay, Loretta. Did you need something? Need? Nah, I was just curious about Dr. I just peeped. This is Loretta call. from the, um... Seems I'm not the only from one. From that podcast, bro. I mean, um... What, you a snitch? Can you drop it? Oh, gosh. Yeah, this isn't what it looks like. It's always the journalist, huh? waiting to talk to her. Hmm. Well, she didn't seem to notice. Okay. Well, since you're not busy, maybe you could help me out, you know? One snoop to another? I'm not, I... Just hold on. Let me relocate. Come on. She just... What can she I do just ruined you? it, bruh. You could give me a quick soundbite for my podcast. Oh, my... Bro, podcast? Um, maybe? Right, tell me what the podcast is about. Tell me a little about I know what it's about, about it but you know what I'm saying? I need to hear it from her. Part journalism, part analysis, investigative type stuff. The human condition. Okay. You get it. A little bit. Um. Do I have to though? Uh, I'll do it for the plot. It's all good. It's I all good. Guess that's fine. What do you need? Just for background, you were close friends with Safi Llewellyn Fayette. Oh my gosh. Oh. She already hit the um, play button on that. Um. Yes. Yeah, we're... We were friends. Is it true she used school resources for personal purposes and that her mother turned a blind eye? What the? I'm not gonna help you smear something. Huh? If you're not into it, I'll just go interview Dr. Hunter instead. I'm sure we'd have a lot to talk about. You won't do that. You won't do that. I'm gonna call her bluff. You're bluffing. I know how you journalists rock. We're trying to listen in too. You said so yourself. Yeah. Yeah. How'd that feel? Oh, shit. Where's she really going? Is she serious? I just thought you might want to know that Miss Caulfield's Damn, been listening son. to your calls. Loretta? I don't know how you have time to be a snitch when you still owe me revisions. Beat it. Yeah! <laughs> ah, yeah, look at you. You looking crazy, huh? What Word a off. little shit. <laughs> but she's not a liar. Anything you want to tell me, Max? Uh, you know, like, um... You seemed upset earlier. I'm just gonna say that. I wanted to check on you. Yeah. You seemed so upset. In the library earlier. Max, I don't like to be pitied. My father just. Checking. And I like fake pity even less. Leave me alone. Okay. You know. Respect. I really thought we were cool. Just stay out of my way. Fantastic. Anything else want to go wrong today? Dang! Loretta, my biggest op, though. That's crazy, Loretta. Are you serious right now? Standard Moses. practice mission. Who is talking? 
They were talking about some roses. Whoa. Oh. Uh, I hope you like the rose. It's oh, beautiful. Is it these two? Thanks. Oh, wait. Who is talking to me? This dude is invisible. Come on. What, wait, what, what's going on with that, bruh? This dude invisible. You think everything's all hee hees and ha ha's. You go back to your little podcast thing, bro. Girl, you crazy? Do you see what kind of trouble you just got us into, bro? And you, it even backfired on you. Was it even worth it, bro? You sitting here with your binder, headphones, and your, and your, your, little, your little journal. Thinking you doing something on that laptop. You not doing nothing. I know you hear me. Let me check in on my guy Moses, bro. He going through a lot, man. Moses look like a Disney character, bro. I'm sick of grieving. Sorry I didn't call you. Hey. I'm sorry I didn't return your texts or call you. I should have. Mm. I get why you didn't. Really. I'm sorry too. Probably should have given you some space. Listen, the last few days have been hell, but we're both here now, and we're going to get through. I just, I keep replaying it in my head. Could we have done something? Gotten there sooner or called her when she nah, didn't come back. Bro, nah, bro. Why didn't one of us go with her, Max? Why did we let her walk off alone like that? This was the phone. I thought, me personally, I thought she was going to come back after the phone call. You know what I'm saying? Don't torture yourself over it, though. Don't. Don't torture yourself. We can't change any of it. What if I can't do this, Max? You can't. Neither of us can. Not alone. But the next time you need me, I'll be there. I swear it. Dang. Plug. Sophie weighs heavily. Oh, it's uh, Lucas. Colmanero. In fact, my best-selling novel speaks to this precise moment. Sophie disliked my book, ironically, but sales don't lie. And being remembered for one's words is a kind of immortality. Yeah. Grief is fleeting. But words... Words are deathless. They endure. I want to honor Safi Llewellyn and pay tribute to her unique voice. Hence why we're holding class on the quad today. Is that Lucas? Comanero, head of the lit department. God, what a pretentious creep. Safi hated his guts. Mm, oh. So what are people were hating on Safi for being like such a great poet? They hating on her. He's wasting air. Uh, I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he's changed. Who knows? Maybe he had a break. Too much or about something. bro. You know, like he was visited one night by three ghosts who showed him the error of his ways. That's at least a six ghost two night job. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie never found the audience that so few of us enjoy. It's up to us to keep her fire burning. It's always the dudes with the unbuttoned shirt. Tell me that shutting shirt him up will with the make hairy chest, better. bro. It won't. But I wouldn't blame you for trying it anyway. I'll find you later. I can't watch this. Respect. Ugh, right. oh, Lucas gets under my skin. 
I could try to shut him up. Hold up. Or I could just stay out of it and go keep Moses company. Did I just peep that Loretta texted me? Don't think I'll forget you trying to embarrass me in front of Dr. Hunter anytime soon, Miss Caulfield. Okay, well, Loretta, let me tell you something. Come out and say it. Tell me how you really feel, Loretta. Name the place. I've got nothing to hide. This kid, but you might. I swear to God. Calm down, Woodward and Purse. Yo, is she really trying to press me? Really? All right, Loretta? Vin, appreciate you taking care of my package. It can be temperamental in the wrong hands. Wait. Flirty? Keep it friendly. Keep it friendly, bro. You do the same for me. Would I, though? Probably not. You would, and then you'd Double expect some kind of payment to be named be later. His whole personality, right? Imagine doing something for someone and not expecting anything. Couldn't be me. Oh my god, this guy's annoying, bro. All right, what we got? Kyle. Yo, W name, bro. Uh, yo, any cryptid sightings around the Overlook? I've heard some stories, and it's got me thinking. Martin said, seriously? This better not be more of your conspiracy shit, Kyle. Safi meant something to a lot of people. Have some decency, man. Loretta. I haven't heard anything about a cryptid, but I have heard about strange occurrences. You could be onto something. We should compare notes. This... Loretta is so annoying, bro. Why are you pressing people about some subjects like this, bro? Like, you're just trying to get a story out of people, and then you're gonna, you're gonna attempt to flip the story anyway. So it's like... What's up, bro? I'ma let bro rock. He not really doing nothing for real, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, buddy. Buddy, old pal. It's weird. Nobody here saw her. It's just you and me. I feel so disconnected from all of them. It's different. Doesn't it? It is different, bro. It really do. Hey. I have a question about Safi. Okay. Is this bench special? How did you meet her? Is it a special bench? What's the deal with this bench? Cause there's a lot of benches. You tease to sit here all the time. Oh yeah. Guess we did, huh? Uh, this was our lunch bench when we were both teaching in summer school. Mm. For someone so chatty, she really got the appeal of comfortable silence, you know? I feel that. <laughs> hey, Max. Yeah. I'm going to use present tense for just a little longer. I'm not ready for Safi to be a was yet. Real, real. That's real, bro. I'm not ready either, bro. I'm with you, Moses. Go ahead and stay present tense as long as you want. Yeah. Just a little longer. How did you meet her? How did you guys meet anyway? I never asked. It's not much of a story. I came to Caledon late, mid-year. Safi was assigned to give me the big, shiny grad student tour. I think she saw it as a chore. <laughs> Doesn't Yasmin have a VIN for that? Exactly. But uh, then she saw this bracelet I got in Kyoto. Oh. A little cherry blossom. I've always liked that bracelet. That's tough. She just finished a poem called Hanami. It means watching blossoms in Japanese. Hmm. I haven't thought about that in a while. Okay. I think I might need a little alone time. Probably just as well. I got to get over to the observatory anyway. You'll text if you need anything? Yeah. All right, Max, Thanks. you better like you better pick up when he texts, you better you, too. you know what I'm saying? You better yeah. text. All right. Don't be leaving nobody on scene, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? These people need you. <laughs> like, dang. She know for that. No, no. You want to go in aggressive with the red deck. Hit hard and don't let up. Lose more attack. Moses? Oh. Oh, snap. Oh, she about to do the thing. It's not rock, paper, scissors. 
Any color deck can be any other with the right cards. Yeah. Anytime. Yo. <laughs> Later. <laughs> what the hell was that? Nah, that's peak. That's peak. Hold on. Where's that other Moses? Press R1 to play. How do I bring him back? Oh. I come in peace. Declare your allegiance. Diamond? Come on, Diamond. Oh, the fort. Seriously? Conscientious objector. That's what they all say. I'm unarmed, okay? Just want to get out of Coco. That's it. <laughs> Snowball down. Let the observer pass. I'm over here <laughs> blasting people with snowballs. <laughs> Let me see. More. Give me more. Okay, he's tying his shoe. Nah, this is hard. What? What are you doing out here? Oh. Your final in five minutes. I'm not the one taking it. It's time for our cocoa. Safi? Safi. You're hopeless. These poor kids pay tuition. Hey, I have a five star rating in teacher rating. I can't believe Max would stand me up. You're supposed to have lunch with the turtle. This is happening. This is real. Yo. Probably afraid you'll charge the whole thing to a car. Oh my god, dude. Go. <laughs> hey, you know, bro. Oh my gosh. It's too cold for this. That really was Sophie. I think I have to get to her. So, do they want me to follow Moses or keep going with Safi? Find a way to talk to Safi. Okay. If she could just hear me like I can hear her. Sophie, I'm right here, right in front of you. No. The double hand. Fuck it, I got pizza rolls in my office. L1 to reach out. To oh. What? gonna freeze to death the girl in a Dolce and Gabbana uh, sweater bro huh? I mean jacket bro golly what's up <laughs> wow bro it's that's the cycle bro that's how it all starts bro oh snap okay here we go with the choices, y'all. Here we go. Here we go. Safi, what happened to Chloe? 56% said Chloe lived. 44% said Chloe died. The people of Arcadia Bay have slowly moved on, but that's proven difficult for you. Oh my gosh, bro. I knew this was going to be a split, too. I knew it was, bro. A lot of people wanted to have the Chloe live, bro. But that's all right, bro. I'm just going by how my playthrough went of Life is Strange 1, so... That's my canon event right there. <laughs> Amanda, ask Amanda out as friends or as a date. 28% said friend thing, 72% said date thing. Amanda is excited to pursue a romantic relationship with you. No, she not. Bro, she literally brought food. We sat down, sang kumbaya, had some hee hees and ha ha's. Then she hit me with the, uh, we friends though. Damn, like, son. what bro? Are you serious? And then she had the audacity to tell me to take pictures of her on my Polaroid, bro. All right, so we got Loretta. Finish Loretta's interview or call her bluff. 25% answered her question. 75% called her bluff. Now, listen, I'm not going to slander Safi's name. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what type of business Loretta is running on her podcast for real. You feel me? Uh, as y'all can see, though, she is a snitch, bro. She's definitely a snitch. Loretta feels vindictive that you called her bluff. Hey, bro, it is what it is at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? If you want if you want some blood, Loretta, come see Max Caulfield about it. You know what I'm saying? Look, Max Caulfield stood 10 toes to her. 
she stood 10 toes. And then Loretta had the audacity to text my phone, right? Text my phone and tried to threaten me. So abandoned spaces. 84% said Max likes empty spaces for the potential. 16% said Max likes empty spaces for the presumed uselessness. Bowling alley plushie. 62% Max stole a bowling alley plushie. 38% did not. Chloe relationship, 74% said Max and Chloe were high school sweethearts. 26% said they were just friends. Pickup lines, 46% Max used Safi's pickup line and succeeded. 19% used Reggie's and failed. 35% used their own and failed as well. Okay. Art pranks, oh what? Max flipped all the paintings in the snapping turtle. I didn't flip all the paintings, bro. Oh, I flipped some, 22%, 23% didn't flip any, okay. Mug of choice, 25% chose the toilet mug. 52 chose nerdy and dirty mug. Then the 23, 23% chose the actually vodka mug, cool. Rooftop moment of reflection, 25%. Max did not reflect on the observatory rooftop. Oh, you can go on the rooftop? Huh? I didn't know that. Bottle cap game, Max won the bottle cap game, 45%, okay. 18%, Max won but let Safi keep her secret. 37 did not win the bottle cap game, okay. Photo wall, 76%, Max left her photo wall as it was. Oh, what? Max added Arcadia Bay pic. <gasps> That's the photos I picked up downstairs of, um, of, of Chloe, bro. Oh, I didn't think about going back upstairs to put that's cool. That's cool you could do that though. Coffee shop moment of reflection. 50% Max reflected at the coffee shop. 50% Max did not reflect at the coffee shop. Okay. Moses' hot chocolate. 77%. Max didn't bring Moses his hot Oh, I thought, wait, I thought he had his own hot chocolate. I didn't know I had to bring him his hot chocolate. Safi's cause of death. 91%. Max told Yasmin there's no way Safi took her own life. 9% said that it's possible that she did, okay. Choosing Safi memorial photo. 38% chose the playful photo. 47 chose the passionate photo. 15 chose the pensive photo, okay. Speak at Safi memorial. 48%. Max spoke at the memorial. 42%. Max didn't engage with the memorial. Now, I would have spoken at the memorial, but it was like, I didn't know what type of person Lucas was, you know what I'm saying? Moses was really telling me some stuff. I was really side-eyeing, bro, you know what I'm saying? I was like, mm, I don't know. I don't really know too much about you. And Moses said Safi hated bro prior to her death. So it was like, I don't know. I don't want to be that person to like, you know, intervene with somebody that doesn't really mess with Safi for real. You feel me? So I don't know. Abrax puzzle box. Max solved the first layer of the puzzle box. Max didn't solve the first layer of the puzzle box. Max didn't find the puzzle box. Okay, cool. Bro. Okay, I know for a fact it's going to be a long video, bro. Y'all going to have to take this video in parts. You feel me? I I am so sorry that this video was that long, but hey, bro, I, I was enjoying I myself. I for so long that I built a home. Hey, okay. But yeah, thank y'all so much, bro. Let me know in the comment section down below your favorite parts of this video if y'all had any. If y'all played this chapter on your own time, let me know your choices as well. Thank y'all so much once again. Make sure y'all are following me on all my socials, bro. Join up on the Discord as well for the latest and greatest updates. But anyways, y'all, stay cheerful, stay motivated, and stay blessed, y'all. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one.